Hello everybody and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. This is a fantastic little game with a lovely story. They've got all these custom games now. We've got an arcade mode. As you can see, these are beautiful. And we're going to have a crack at the story mode here today. Um, I'm a big fan of this game. I got picked it up um, uh, about a year ago, maybe two years ago now. Um, sort of relatively when it first came out. Uh, but it's had a ton of new missions, and I thought, seeing as I'm starting up uh, just recording videos and having a bit of fun, um, why not record this beautiful little game? Because I've been itching to play it again. And uh, let's say we go, Colony Name. Well, obviously, we can do a lot of colours. Should we go really outlandish? Should we go pink? Uh, colony Name. Uh, pink. What do you think of when you think of pink? Uh, princess. Or let's call them panther. The pink panthers. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so here's our ants. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Okay, so for this game, uh, we have a bunch of levels and missions. And as we go through, uh, we get more of this stuff. You get territory, you've got the jelly. Uh, this is our food. These are sort of our, our workers. And obviously, this is the uh, soldiers that we have. Now, we haven't unlocked soldiers yet. But we will get them soon. If you look at adaptations, this is where we can start uh, gaining more workers. We also have ability slots that we can get to upgrade, but we'll go through those later. Right now, this stuff here is our little food storage. Uh, we can right click uh, when they're not in this worker tile sort of mode. So normally this is for your, your soldier ants. And we get our food stores. We have several tiles. We've got speed tile, so we can sip our ants super quick. An upgrade tool and our food tile, which I like to stick here because this is the entrance which we haven't dug out. This was all pretty standard from what I played, and I've played uh, these two and these two missions and challenge two challenges, but I haven't played any of this. So this will be fun. Uh, this will be fun and interesting. These back in their tile slots, so. And they're going to go and build these tiles. So I'll just show you that, and then we'll jump into the mission. Uh, as you can see, some food tiles, and that's essentially just like a stockpile in any other game. Right, uh, run one. There we go. All right, let's do the 1.1. One one. We'll do everything in order. Uh, difficulty. Uh, well, it's me, so I like to make things really difficult for ourselves. So, as you can see, everything scales accordingly. With food that we get, royal jelly that we get, and the territory tiles. Now, probably, I'm only thinking 60, 19, 15, 24, 55. Well, I think the insane one will be worth it. Although, I may fail a couple of times at this. Because it has been a while. Uh, this right. Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. Okay, so the start of this is nice and simple. 
The yeah, ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Yep. So this obviously, as you tell, relatively straightforward start. You basically these uh, green question marks and uh, this green stuff here is food. The exclamation points are enemies that you know are relatively nearby. Um, but as the missions progress, we start losing more of this. These big ones, I'll uh, save that surprise for later. If you can't guess, they are just bigger enemies, but they are spicy and extremely difficult for us to uh, murder up. Right, we better start getting on with our soldier ants. I like to build our first pocket soldier ants down here. Come on, the way things got good. As normal, this thing starts slow, but we can very quickly start uh, away and building the car. Reserves and supplies. So, as you can see, these are your workarounds, these are your soldier rounds. Your soldier rounds are bigger, stronger, do more damage. The workarounds is essentially just here to uh, dig out and maintain our little stock. Uh, we're going to get ourselves up there, uh, well, say as many soldier ants as possible. We've got to be careful how we go about it. So I'm thinking, I'm going to do, I'm going to dig in here and shove these guys into this. There you go. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. Sweet, so as you can see, we're just going to pick off the nice, uh... There are intruders solo in the enemies. There we go, got him. So obviously as we're collecting these we're going to get our food reserves. Right, we'll move this over now. Uh, we want to go pick up these two over here shortly. Yeah, stop to fall, yeah, sure. But... So it costs for a worker app if you have a look here. 50 to place, 5 to hatch. Now, as we upgrade them, so let's just do this upgrade now. Like that. So, one of these ants, as you can see, this one here has now got a little bit bigger. So, with upgrades, they do more damage. Now, with our upgrade piles, we, as you can see, 6 of 12, 4 of 6. As we're each tile needs to have another tile next to it to be able to upgrade the tile to five. Now, obviously, as I upgrade these tiles, the bonus then becomes a plus two. As you can see here by this arrow, this tile is given a plus two now to this uh, tile. So the best shape and structure is essentially just a. Uh, this colony must remain small for now. Do it here. Food is too scarce to um, support okay. greater numbers. So the best tile to do to support is this shape and then what you do is just sort of go around like so and then these in here once all this is upgraded these in here then become uh, easier to upgrade so there's a efficiency to it that you need to do and just get rid of them so if I want to dig that up I want to dig over here let's get the boys over get ready for fighting Get the workers involved as well. There are intruders in the nest. So you have to do a fine balance, especially on this insane difficulty. We're currently not having anything come attacked or anything towards us. This is just the first mission. And it's just us to uh, sit and plan and expand. We do have to be pretty careful what we do. I might actually. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, no. On the upgrade panel. So this is a six of six. So now, if we will manage to upgrade this, we'll have a lot right, of workers. But I think we've overextended ourselves. That this is a loose this in the nest. Be a tough fight. The larvae now. must be protected. Yeah. Yeah. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. So when he says it's starving, it's not enough food to respawn or spawn in new. Uh, uh, soldiers or workers. Um, now, fortunately, we just managed to survive that one, but we need to be a bit more careful. Uh, I think I might have just upgraded them too early, but that's okay. I think we can manage it. We've we managed to take four uh, beetles down. We should be able to do uh, another four down if we dig in here. So, Get everybody over here. Well, work around. I need to maintain. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Okay, so there's a nice bit of food here. So this should allow us to expand this this group in nicely, uh, and then. Yeah, we'll work on down here. Have that fixed, and then we should be good. So what I like to do, because of what I've done before, just because of where this is, I tend to just to uh, go this area a little bit. shove some food tiles in here, basically because we're going to run across the top, like so, collect all this food, so it's better if we just drop it over here rather than... Uh, next to us, right, need to get the boys over here, get the boys, uh, probably dig out all of this, have a nice big map. Predators are loose in the this nest, first mission, the larvae really must build. be protected. Over here, we might have one big master mob. Come on. Like I said, the main thing for this is just having that fine balance between level 1, level 2, level 3, and um, obviously level 3 is great, it's just expensive to get there. And you also still want to have the balance between the weight of numbers versus your enemies and also have the heavy hitting power because when we start finding these big boys here, these big boys here, will uh, obviously, as you can tell, the bigger, faster, and stronger. So we have to balance against, uh, you know, having a punch up and build, 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 build. So with these food tiles, we can upgrade as well. Um, you know, they're quite cheap too. Probably only going to upgrade the two of them. Here we go. One eighties. Plenty of food. No mouse is picking up any more than that really. Uh, right, now let's run up the top like so. Basically what I want to do is try and create choke points. Think ahead. Think about when we start getting to like this absolute mass of monstrosity. Or there are yeah, intruders in the nest. the choke points where I can use my enemies. Um, Numbers sort of against themselves. There's will only be so many that can run and crawl in. I think. So I like to create a trope here because it's close to the base, so any respawning ants can get over here quicker. So I have to travel like a mile and get picked up one by one. Some wood lies here. There's little these little buttons here. Cool. Um, just showing you how much food is in, in whatever, which will help me plan accordingly. So I think we're probably going to get ourselves up to like 20 
25 and, and then go on upgrades and then slowly get more but then start spending more on uh, having you know bigger better punchier ants so go up here these buttons here uh, as I say disable attack or disable gather so obviously if there's an enemy here and my work well, my soldier ants decide that hey we're gonna go and pick those up not what we want to do. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Okay. Just thinking we might just do something like this. Instead of yeah. And to be fair, I don't think it really matters. Anyway, we're gonna have an absolute mega fuck ton of food now. Let's just upgrade them. I said I wasn't gonna have that. Never mind. Yeah, look at that. There's a bit on a stop ball. I find it cool how you get like different sized bits and Obviously, the bodies and carcasses and such. So, I'll do 23, 24, 25, put another one here, and then we'll work on upgrades, people. Upgrades! Fast, but good. Killing all this off. Gathering the food. Uh, we don't want to go over here yet, because obviously, just, uh, fucking mass. Uh, let's just disable gather food for a moment while we dig these out, kill these, and then. There are intruders in the nest. See how the ants kind of have to run, come back. Choke point. It's essentially what we're going to try and do later on down the line for this. We'll have a bit of forward planning about it, I guess. Right, now we can enable food gather. Sweet. So we're going to have a shit ton of upgraded ants in a minute. They got left, but uh, a bunch. Okay. Uh, so, see, as these get upgraded now, run to here and upgrade this one. As you can see, levels 1, 2, and 3, 17, 8, and 1. Uh, I'm trying to see what the big, big, big boy is. I think it's this one here. Maybe not. But yeah, we'll have, now have like a massive level 3 amp, which is just beautiful. Uh, I'm just thinking about how to go about this now. Um, it's going to get tricky. We'll chuck our ants here. We're going to see if we can dig around like so. Hmm. It's going to come out of us anyway, so yeah, we might as well just do this way. Fuck it. We'll see what goes well. If we fail, you know, I'll just jump to the part where we were at before. Come yeah, on, work around. What are you doing? What did you say? Uh, mm. so now, as you can see, we're starting to get a lot more support. There are intruders together. in the nest. Okay, cool. We haven't dug into these guys yet. Sweet, I thought we could do this as well. Wonder bar. Nice bunch of food. So there's a bunch of question marks there. We want that. 
With the uh, later levels, it won't be this and that. Not necessarily. Well, I wouldn't say it's going to be slow. It's going to be uh, a bit more difficult. The later levels. Get in there, boys. Get attacking. Get some food. Now we can get a bunch of other free and. Perfect. That's what I mean now, we can start really building up. Come on. Just, I'm just build. Right. Gather the food. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, we're just going to do a test here. Once we've gathered this food, I'll get the workers to... Uh, speaking of the workers, they are not on attack or food gather. Yeah, don't want to attack or food gather. Don't need them to do that anymore. Yeah, so we're basically just picking off the small pockets and moving up. We're getting some nice upgrades going. Yeah. You. Uh, do that one. So yeah, these are all level 3 now. Beautiful. No, oh, we don't have enough food to improve it. Okay. No worries. Alright, for the sake of speed and shit up, we're not going to run the test. We're just going to wing it. I'll uh, get a workman's down here to dig. As you can see now, we're starting to have a lot bigger ants. Obviously, more powerful, have more health so they live longer. Which is why you've got to balance out the having um, lots of ants with also having stronger ants. Because, yes, you've got lots of ants and do lots of little damage, but they die so quick that you actually waste food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. So, I love about this, like, it's just a, a fun little real time stretch again. Yeah, look at the big, the big elephants. There, I love the breeze. That's dying to work out. There you go. There we are. Wunderbar. Oh, we're gonna get some. So we should be ready now. With twenty-six, and what we are. Thirteen, six, and seven. That. Let's break those two. Come on, I'm gonna rest that food. Right. What we want to do then is we can dig like so. We're gonna activate that. But what we're gonna do, we are gonna see if this little um, trap point here is going to work. And if, uh, given their numbers, actually, no, we'll stick all that ants over here, the corner. And what we're gonna do is, they've dug in and activated this little enemies. This one. Okay. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae Run must away. be protected. Oh, no, uh, the ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, oh. it sprays foul-smelling secretions up. from the end of its raised up. abdomen. See, and they'll make their way the to the queen. Quick! The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new go. brood. See what I mean about this? The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. 
can't sneak over to here. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We've got a good amount of food. Keep upgrading level 3 ants. we to kill stuff as quickly as possible. And if we activate this, this will be a problem. Um, I don't think we're quite ready. And I think what we're going to do is try and get ourselves up to like 30, 40 ants. Uh, what are we on? 19, 7, and 10. That's a good amount. Okay, we managed to sneak past successfully. Great. Not activating any of this yet. Wonderful. Grab all this food now. Get ourselves some more numbers. That's all the food in there. Yep. Alright. I was thinking this didn't go really well, so we might move all our people over here. Get. What have we got? Six. Nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, and a big guy. So sixteen and a big guy. This one's got, what? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a big guy, so. Do this, give ourselves some time. Uh, Another massive wadges ants in now. So, yeah, that gives us up to 35, which is good. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and a big guy. So really, we should ignore that one. We should trigger this slot. I know for a fact that, from just past experience, that these two tiles are uh, not gonna uh, breaking this and activating these is gonna activate these. There's two tiles that are clogged, as you'll see in a moment. Um, there are intruders in the go. nest. Run away, run away. No, I did your fan. Ready. Fight! Yes, that spray really confused us. As you can see, we can use our wave numbers now. Yeah. the dying step. There you go. Beautiful. Wonderbar. Oh, and they've got a bit of food in there as well. Grab that. Come on, I want to upgrade this. So as you can see, it's charging us food each time. Come on, guys. Uh, yeah, we might make this our little war chamber. Um, we obviously don't want to have scrap here. Then saying that, when we get to this lot, we really don't want to be messing with them too much. So upgrade you, so upgrade you. Plenty of level 3s. As you see, even though these are all maxed out, they're never going to become level 3. Wonderful. How are we looking? 17, 5, 30. Cool. So we just need to upgrade a bunch of level 2s now. Well, mainly 2s and 3s. Predators are loose in the Go. nest. Okay. The larvae Why does must one always be protected. Stay? Just run, buddy. Just run, forest, run. Alright, here they come. Go. The colony is starving. Yep, There's not enough starving, food to feed the new brood. There we are. Just kill him! There we go. Wonderful. Lots of food for us. So you've got your information in your tool tips, sort of, about the thing. Uh, 
but yeah, I mean, I tend to just disable the filter because that's not going to be all that sure. Right, my brood is hatching. Also, my workarounds need to be job. I mean, if we want the eggs planted quicker, I could just build more of them. Thing like that and expand on them. There's no point, there's no point in upgrading. You just basically just build works next to that. Like so. Right. Uh, said we want a bunch more twos and threes, didn't we? So. This little trail's working lovely. Right, that all done. The end. Got our guys in, so our guys in here. Dig there like that. Get the upgrades done. You got the last couple more level threes. Beautiful. Get more level threes. Why not? 10, 9, 16, 10, 8, 17. Beautiful. So, so far, so good. Starting to look strong, get stronger. Now, obviously, this one's fine, but this is the moment of truth, really. Um, there are intruders. I don't know how we're going to fight them. I think probably the best thing to do will be to. Why are you all over here? And the best thing to do is just dig one of these, cram all our ants in here, and just have them one by one fight them off. And that way we can try and just put their weight of numbers of their big things and do less damage to them. Just die. Just pick them off and we start. Oh, well, firepower. How much food is that's actually less than it used to be. It used to be a lot more than that. Interesting. Draw these yellow ones back now. The Squeller can get yellow when uh, they're due to hatch because somebody's died. So a nice little signifier. I remember how much they carried. Fifteen. Yeah, cool. Right. Should be us on the food front. Good. And then we'll do our last little leveling up, and then it will be the moment of truth. <laughs> We're gonna have a big fight. Uh, at least we've systematically picked off the enemies. It will just, yeah, come down to us and our ability to uh, not die. Maybe we find a place. Basically, what I'm going to do, we're going to try and cram in here. No, if that goes tits, then we start dying horribly. Uh, we should just do this one. Yeah, if it goes tits and we start dying horribly, we're gonna then try and fall everybody back to here, and then have a, like a bit of a last stand in, in there. Yeah, we've got twenty-seven, so really can only revive five. I'm gonna take the gather food off for these boys. And yeah, final stage, final fucking stage. I might just throw the workarounds in as well. <laughs> I'm gonna need everybody. Here we go. If not, we'll be doing it again. <laughs> but I won't. Uh, 
I'll just jump to this last game stage. Predators are loose in the nest. There we go. The larvae must right. be protected. Try and use their weight in numbers against them. Poke point. Come on. Oh, we're losing them like crazy. Oh, no. Right. Everybody get back here. So that didn't go too well, did it? Yep, I think we're going to lose this. No, it's game over. Darn, we were so close. The queen is in imminent danger. Here we go. So the queen will die now. The queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. Alrighty, here we go. Round two. Uh, I did a test over here, and uh, I think fighting them out in the open is the best way to do it because of our weight of numbers and the quality of our enemies. Uh, we're only down to 41 because the test did kill a lot of our guys. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Here we come. Come on. Ready. Ready. The ants will fight to the death. Hopefully we don't fight here. I'm picking them up one by one, huh? We have the weight of numbers, get him! Get him! Come on! I think we got this, I think we got this. If not, the only reason why we have them... Yeah, okay, we don't. We don't got this. Alright. Cool. I know what I fucked up. When I did this, we could have had easily three or four more upgrades and 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 whatever. Um, I messed that up. Alright, trying to get Round 3. Okay, so we're trying a different tactic this time. Basically, I've come to the realization that we're ants, and many ways a few. So, we've opened up here, and now we're going to have a battle. And I'm luring them into this nice big... Why did that? Uh, I'm luring them into this nice big fight east base. Okay. Uh, so that... Ren our ants respawn, essentially. They respawn straight in the middle of the battle and just get straight stuck in. Instead of having trouble. Uh, so that is the plan. To lure the enemy into the big area. And fuck them up. Just to see if we take a lot less losses, which is allowed for us to... Uh, by taking the losses, obviously it allows us to have more food. Uh, now we're going to start upgrading. We've got, what, 57. Should we make that 60? I like random numbers. Let's make it 60. Uh, come on. And then you've got a bunch of larvae there. Might not have enough to make it quite 60. So we'll just add a max source. There we go. Right, yeah, and we've got plenty. So the idea of what we're going to do is keep a stockpile. I know I'm going to start upgrading the, the guys to level 2 and stuff. We're just going to keep them on level 2, I think. But, um, yeah, the main plan is to keep the stockpile. Uh, as full as possible. 
and then um, yeah that should save us the hassle really um, be able to get ourselves organized um, and not basically blow out those predators are loose in the nest no oh, well, they must be protected why are you just sat there run away thank you here comes another mob but then we've got another ton of food so a lot of 25s so there's going to be what like 100 greens of food there beautiful uh, yeah we just keep on big stinking mobby massive everybody And then wait for them to get closer, closer, closer. Perfect. Go, 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 go. The ants must fight. I should be able to like flank out, fake out my kitten or whole host disease without carrying too much damage. They were doing it because they, they keep changing targets. They're not just attacking one thing, whereas that ants pretty much do. There we go. No. Took minimal losses. Alright, we lost what? 100 food there. Gained it back. And then some. And then we get all of this as well. Obviously, we're not going to be able to grab this green stuff. It's just going to be activate and that will come down to us. But, uh. We should be able to start getting after those. Uh, wrong one. The upgrade to our place. Yeah. Plan now is to try and upgrade as much of these to centre here as possible. And uh, give ourselves the best opportunity to uh, succeed. Now I'll be back in a moment, and then uh, we're just going to do the same for these guys. Well, I'll be back in a moment. We do the final bit. Alrighty, here we go again. So we've kept what 183 bags. That should spawn us. We'll say 19 more ants into the fray. Should we really struggle. So. Yeah, it's good. Terribly. Uh, uh, no, it'll be more than 19 ounce to be nearly enough 41 by per ant. There are intruders in the nest. Let's get over here, buddy. Although well, it just sits there. What the fuck are you doing? So, yeah, having us sit here, I don't think. I think what we're doing it this way is probably the best way around it. Uh, I'm actually going to stick you guys in here, because this is the final battle. Yeah. Go. Go, 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 everybody! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, pick a couple of them off. Many of them. Crushing absolute the Look how quickly they die now. Yeah, look how quickly he's dying. And this is it, guys. The colony is starving. Yep. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. But the colony also has only three enemies left. And we're on what? We're losing ants rapidly. And that's it. Beautiful. Right. That's clearly the way to do it then. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the Queen is safe. Beautiful. Ah, and we've got achievements. And obviously we get all this stuff. Now choose a reward. Now, we don't need food right now, because we're only just starting out. I think what we're going to take is the extra royal jelly, because that will allow us to have a bunch of upgrades. Territory, we don't need to worry about right now. End level. We can't play more, because we've already done it. Oh, there's humans in here, is there? Interesting. Uh, right, return up to the form cab. I haven't done the achievement hunting stuff, uh, so that could be interesting. How is the colony progressing? 
The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Okay, so what we can do with the Royal Jelly is for 75, unlock the Black Ants. Which are obviously what we're, we're after. They get these awesome little um, ability uh, slots. We only have 11 left though, so we can't really spend it. And then um, these come in handy later for the Formicarium challenges. Now, what obviously we want to do is start getting ourselves sorted. We're also going to dig this up. The have raised the first Formicafusca ant. Finally, we have the opportunity to observe multiple species within the same colony. Alrighty, so we're up top. I'm going to gather this food up, um, and then what I'm going to do also is um, build out the rest of this and fill it with uh, black ants, and then we will proceed to the next mission. Uh, but that will be for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Hello everybody, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth, and today... We're doing something a bit different. My voice recording and the sound was damaged and only I think half of the recording worked. So what I've done is I'm just voicing over in situ. So I figured we'll do a different way of uh, presenting it. So we went in and we tried episode 1.2. And on episode 1.2 of the missions list, uh, we have to face some questionable eight-legged freaks uh, who steal and murder our pretty soft little lads. And on the other hand, we also have to face off against waves and waves of ants. And of course, we're doing it on an insane difficulty. And so... As you guys will see, here's how that went. It took 34 total attempts to do this one. That was a struggle, and I was not just letting people sit through that, because that was fucking painful. Uh, it took me two days to actually complete this mission of just hours of grinding, testing, and working things out. And also, I had to sit through this fucking screen again and again. The defending colony was weak, and not worth the effort of a prolonged raiding campaign. Instead, the aggressors slaughtered their would-be hosts. They are now moving on. There are more lucrative opportunities to be found elsewhere in the undergrowth.
But finally, finally, we stumbled across a little bit of genius, a little bit of cheese, but also we managed to stumble across a way to set up appropriately before we get invaded by those horrible little slave maker ants. So, here is how I did it. See, what I didn't realise was that if we don't kill them spiders, or any funnel web spiders, then we don't get attacked. So up until that point, we can sneak around and collect food without triggering the invasion force, which allows us to build up. So as you see here, I dig a nice little path and try and sneak around as much of this as we can. We dug a lovely little path. We got ourselves in. All we had to do was disable food, which you see the mistake I make here in a moment is I get our workers killed uh, because they've come to collect food. And spider grabs a bug, comes out, grabs another one. But uh, if you see down at the bottom, we've turned that off. Now, we've opened up here. We've, uh, we've triggered the attack of the little um, beetles or beetle larvae. And this is important. The important bit is to disable the food gathering as you're sneaking around. And this allows us to remotely trigger, get us to a point with like a good amount of no food and remotely trigger the attack without killing the spider. Because that'll set it off. That way we can gather a nice big stockpile and grab. So as you can see here, we have the ants running up and trying to grab the food inside the layer. And so I've disabled the food, gather really quick, get them to hide out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is manually, when I'm ready, uh, well, I've moved them now, but like manually when I'm ready is get them to collect food without going into that nest. So we don't trigger losing our ants, but also we don't attack the funnel web. So the reason we ran over to the left side to do this is because we only have one funnel web to deal with. If we went to the right, we have two, three, and there's no way of getting past them without having to kill one, thus triggering the invasion force. Um, I actually stumbled acro across this in, like I think it was like attempt number 30, 31, but I realised, uh, I think I've done it several times, but I realised like we're not actually getting invaded yet until I kill one of these fuckers, so... It took a lot of trial and error, but that's how we got there. So just note what I'm about to do. We get all our ants nice hiding over here. We enable the food gather. We grab all their food, thus ignoring the funnel webs layer. Traveling past. Now this one is going to get snagged up, and so is the next one. As they're there trying to gather this food. So then you just disable it again. Run them all the way back over to their nice little corner. And then... Enable the food gatherer again once they're all gathered nice and tightly. And we don't have to worry about the funnel web. Okay, so once we've gathered up all the food, what we do, we simply go in, we'll kill this funnel web, we'll grab what we need, and then uh, we'll start triggering that invasion force. Now, we build up a small amount of workers, but a lot more warriors to fend off those initial couple of invasions. The reason why we build up the workers is that the workers are just on permanent gather, but no attack. Um, you know, it depends, but like they're basically on permanent gather and you want them to just be constantly chipping away and bringing food to the colony whilst your soldiers go around and quickly and efficiently on no food gather now, get rid of all the uh, funnel webs in the vicinity that we've opened up in this case. I'd opened up down here, so I was clearing this area out first. Then... We have this massive area now to stick a ton of worker ants in, uh, sorry, a ton of warrior ants in. And then we're just going to go around and systematically eliminate the funnel webs. Now, I went over to the right side because I can get in and get food close to the colony first. We want to just be grabbing as much food as possible at the st um, whilst these invasions and bullshit's coming in. And as you can see, we've had our first slaver ant take the egg which is just the trigger point and then now we're going to get a load of uh spiders uh, not spiders a load of um slave maker ants coming in and invading but this time unlike the last few times this time we now have a nice 
great starting position and starting pot of ants to work with. I still have to time this right because you don't want your ants running around beating up um, funnel web spiders whilst your uh, nest is being invaded. Now we get down here, perfect amount of food over here with all these grubs, a uh, woodworm I think they are, and we'll be able to quickly gather, as you see me select gather, let's just get all these ants in, let's get this nice big chunk going and uh, get this food to the colony. Now, when I stuck the food pot down, I haven't really shown this, I've just shoved it there, right by the entrance, as you see where I was just placing the marker then, um, I shoved them right by the entrance, therefore, because the worker, the slave ants don't care about your food, otherwise this would be way harder, they just don't care about your food, so... You can stick your food there. They're not going to steal that. They're after the eggs and the eggs only. So that's why we shove all our warriors in the entrance, try and pick them off one by one to start with, even though more will be coming in. And also, as you can see, creates a nice little blockade for the slave maker ants trying to run away with our eggs. And there's a chance we can turn around and kill them off. So we ended up upgrading a bunch of our ants, not just to make them tankier, but also to do a lot more damage to those uh, spiders and to the slave maker ants. We then worked on fending off several waves, as you can see here, which is happening right now. Um, and in the, amongst these waves, we're just using the worker ants to come and collect the food. We're just going to keep this supply run going because we need to. We're going to get crushed otherwise. Um, and I always place them by the entrance so that we have that chance of double back kill. And as you see, that was a short wave because we, the AI hasn't been able to you know, build us up wave after wave, which is not only building up the just the sheer insanity of the amount of enemies that we're facing, but also whittling us down bit by bit by bit. This is where having that stockpile at the beginning has come in so, so handy. And as you can see, we've got a ton more workers now and a bunch more ants. So as you can see on this one, this waves are just starting to get more and more difficult. So being quite conscious of this now that we are fucking struggling um, and we're losing ants left, right and centre, the final uh, horde, if you will, is going to be coming out as thick and fast. So what we needed to do is we needed to get ourselves um, doing these objectives because the objective at the end of the day is to up, uh, upgrade and build out and flesh out those workers. You can see I've done it with the soldier ants. Now we need to do it with the worker ants last because they're cheaper and easier. Um but for that, again, we need food. So I'm even just sending our worker ants out. Uh, just, you know, come on, soldier ants, go get our, uh, go get this food. Worker ants, go grab this food. We're going to gather this up and very quickly get ourselves an upgrade facing off, I think, only one more horde after this, one more wave after this. We don't have to clear out the funnel webs. We can wait for that. What we need to do is get this objective done, face the final wave, and um, then, and only then, will we complete the game otherwise it will just snowball to the point where you ain't fighting it you ain't winning so conscious of that i was trying to jump as quickly as i could to complete the objectives now that we've established a good enough worker base and good enough food and as you can see survive the final wave final wave coming in in 12 seconds and uh, that's exactly what we're going to do so let's jump right into that so here we are then, final wave and oh my god and with it being the final wave i even chucked the worker ants in uh because you know it doesn't matter this is the final wave let's just get this get this over and done with i kept the brood nest guys you know hopefully come in and replenish some eggs for us but as you can see given our upgraded area uh our nice reserves of food uh we were able to uh chip away it was a bit of a close one but those reinforcements coming in and just absolutely fucking spanking the slave maker ants that was objective complete. Once again, the slave makers return to their nests with new black ant larvae to raise as their own. The raids will continue, but this Formica Fusca colony has proved its capacity to endure and grow. Eventually, they will surpass their parasitic overseers, and the continued raids of the slave makers will reduce to nothing more than a mere inconvenience for the great black ant empire. And as you can see, we ended up winning. Finally, Jesus, that was a struggle, but we got there in the end. We took the Royal Jelly, of course, because that's going to help us with upgrades for the Former Caring Challenge, which will be the next challenge. Um, 
that we're going to do on this channel. That should be a nice short video because the former carryover challenges aren't. Uh, they are difficult, but they're not necessarily as hard as that mission was. Um, but yeah, that is basically where we're going to leave it. As you can see, we've got tons of food up here now. We're going to go collect that, send our hordes forth, and gather up what we need ready for the next challenge. But that is going to be in the next video. Um, let me know how you've thought about this about this editing style or the way i've done it this way and it's a lot more cutting and it's a lot shorter uh, and that's what it was aimed to be at was to be a lot shorter of a video um and also you know just circumstances forced my hand but yeah thank you everybody so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other bullshit and i will see you in the next one peace Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. Uh, today we're going to be doing the former Carrium Challenge. However long that takes us. Could win, could fail. I don't know. Uh, what we've done, we've got our... Uh, we're carrying on from last time. We have upgraded a turn as much as possible. Oh, that's goof. Uh, I've dug this out to make a bigger food uh, pit. Because uh, as we're starting to get through the bigger and later levels, we're going to need a lot more food stockpile. And uh, we have a reasonably good stockpile here, which will uh, obviously, when our ants die, they can basically spawn straight away. Our uh, worker ants, like I said, not too worried about. We've got our go faster tiles, so once the uh, ants get out here, they can zip along. But showing you the, uh, the go faster tile, and then comparatively, they're like, oh, a little bit slower. This way, and they go, meow. All right, enough fucking around. Let's get on with the challenge. Uh, last time out, prior as well, we did create the meat wall. So our physical damage is reduced, and our upgrade level is awesome. Challenge. Insane. Play level. Right. I think it is time we connected the outworld to the feeder colonies. I want to see how these eruptors respond under pressure. I will prepare the experiment. Okay. <laughs> Let's begin with a small threat. Connecting the Fusca colony now. I will let ten through to start with. So, we have ten black ants to the fight. And I'll come down. And I've always found the best place to do this is just to hoard our fucking little buddies. Not meet them out in the open plain, just hoard our buddies in here. Fuck them up with our superior numbers and our... Uh, the Raptors identified the threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Let's see how they handle a few more, shall we? Introducing 20 Formica Fusca ants. Okay. So... They've got this uh, wave assault, which is why when you're building this, you're supposed to build it a bit more smartly than I have done. Uh, so this could backfire terribly, but uh, never mind. Um, yep, yeah, we have our little waves, got our little health of our ants. Let's see how quickly we're just snipping through them for now. Uh, this is why we kept the stockpile of food behind. Our eruptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment and let me know the results. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. We don't want to harm the queen. Understood. Uh-huh. Hmm, I wonder how they will react to a rival Oreptor colony. Introducing 40 rival Oreptor ants. So to be fair, the Oreptor ants are essentially out of their little worker colony. So these are too difficult, I don't believe. Mass in numbers, but we have the uh, big boys here to fix this problem. This is all due to our hard work earlier Excellent. with the uh, insane difficulty missions, and giving us all the uh, juicy. Introducing reward. a further fifty rival raptor ants. So you hear the thing about uh, don't introduce more than thirty ants at one time. Yeah, he's already broke that, hasn't he? Little bastard. 
remember the first time I played this, I was just in full panic. I was like, she said no more than 30! But, uh... Now I'm just used to it, I guess. And yeah, uh, for the weight of numbers, we have a better concentration of troops. We can squash ourselves in nicely. We've got our workarounds here, maintaining the uh, colony. And we're taking little no losses right now. Good. But this is only the first challenge. Obviously, we have. Ah, now, well, let me show you. Let's try 60 Raptor Ants. 60? I mean, we'll handle it, but damn. Yeah, this is where we uh, go through. You have to do the challenges and then build your way up through the uh, through the ranks, through the uh, challenges to unlock the new missions, which I find quite fun. Um, so you don't have to sit and play them on this insane level of difficulty. Uh, but yeah, I just find it a fun, quaint little game, and I love the piano music. A superb response. Okay. You're doing admirably, my Reptis. Perhaps a small reward. Look to the surface! We'll take it. Okay, well, I think that's it. Hmm, what about a combination of a Reptor and a Fusca? Oh, God. Let's start with 20 of each. <laughs> managed to get back in nice and safe, <laughs> nice and safely, or at least in time. Get him! Get these fucks! Stop running back to the queen. Get over here. Oh, I need some like, threes against this as well. This is where it does come in handy. An unconventional defense, yet highly effective. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see the colony fight on two fronts. <laughs> Perhaps we should try 30 of each. Uh, this guy's an asshole! If I could, this would be narrower, but it's not, so it is what it is. See how our reserves are now going. Not just because. Magnificent! Once again, our raptors triumph. Well, we'll take Some it. seeds on the surface for my succeeding raptors. Gather them quickly. Yeah, this guy just likes playing God. If you can tell. It's not the Ants Canada approach, dude. Ants Canada wouldn't do this deliberately. Unlike you, asshole. Get the suspect down there. Uh, should we do some upgrades? Go. Colony's ability to withstand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. I wonder how will they handle a sustained flow of aggressors? Oh God, here we go. I kind of want to upgrade this, but I don't want to just look at the state of this now. Go, go, go. Right up here. Go. Go, Lelands, go! Oof. They just keep going. They just keep coming! Make things a little more interesting, shall we? Oh, uh, the devil's coach horse! And he's dropping all these in on us. Look at this. No, fight the other ants, you assholes. You are not on the same side. No, well, we are ripping through stuff quite quickly.
just keeps going. Look, now he's bringing the big bubbers in. I seem to have dropped my beetles. What I hope asshole. they don't harm the little ants. What an asshole. Kill them. Ah, uh, here it is. There it is. Kill that big bit. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm murdering them nice and quickly, but yeah. Fine. God. How many you put in? Three? Four? Jesus. Alright, there's no costing us on the front line, so we need to fall ourselves back to here. Perhaps that's enough for now. Oh yeah, you think? Yeah, we're falling back to here. And the reason being, we can gather everyone in that I wanna. Right, ready and go. And then we can counter attack from here. Because with them coming in individually, we're just losing. Like crazy. Look at us, just with your job. I don't need you fighting. Oh, let's get close. Come on. Look, one, two, three, four, five, I think. One big puppies. Mm. This is in the balance. Let's see, this is why we had this giant stockpile of food. Alright, I think we got this. Just, but I think we got it. Yeah, yeah, we got this. We can take all them out now. Pick them up one by one. Yep, lovely. Right. How has the colony been responding? They mounted an excellent defense against 20, 25, and even 30 Fusca ants, as you suggested. Perfect. Perhaps we can provide more of a challenge for them next time. What a fantastic suggestion. Asshole! <laughs> Puts through all this stress. <laughs> Alright, what do we want, guys? Uh, probably the best thing is more of the jelly. The upgrades. The seeds have been dropped on the surface. Oh yeah, I fucking bet. You fucking deserve it after the trauma you Let's put through that the colony grows over the next few days. Now that they have experienced battle, I expect to see a significant rise in the number of soldiers. Oh, I'm going to do a bunch more workers to start with. Get these upgraded. That was rough. Whew. Alrighty. Well, that was the Formicarium Challenge. And surprisingly, we managed to complete it within uh, a decent amount of time. So this is going to be a nice little short one. But yeah. All I'm going to do now is obviously collect food. Upgrade these to max chat. Maybe dig out a bit more. Uh, we have a lot of territory tiles. So we're just going to dig out. I just like having one big mess. Although I think it is more efficient to, to do sort of... Uh, I think a lot of, I think this is 19, like so, and then like, connect it, and then build, you know, your, your other lot of 19, or whatever, uh, like that, but, meh, fuck it, alrighty, so that is that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, peace! has laid her first brood in a burrow near the sea. Her nest is just on the outskirts of the beach, the perfect vantage point for scavenging hapless morsels washed in by the tide. At the moment, the tide is out, but it won't stay that way. The ants must make haste and stockpile what they can, while they can. Hello everybody and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean and today we're doing the Rising Tide mission 
uh, episode 2.1 on the campaign and our insane run. And boy, this one was a fucking pain. So this took me, well, probably 19 hours of film time. Uh, and not including the hours spent just testing and working out what the hell I've done wrong and why I've done it wrong. Um, on this one, the setup is extremely important. And I realized that tanks are shit. So we start out with three types of ants. We've got the new wood ants. You've got your standard worker. You see the blue one in that bottom right there? That's your soldier ant. And on the yellow mark, which we've just clicked away, is the ranged wood ant. And for this mission, I went with the rapid fire wood ants, which we'll explain in a little bit further detail in a moment. But basically, there are the three types of ants. The tanks, the night one on this mission, are useless. There's no real point. Unless you've got extra food, there's no real point in getting them. So we're starting with the workers. The reason why we're starting with workers... There is food to be found all over the beach, but the wood ants must be cautious and choose their trails carefully. Tiger beetles frequent the higher ground and they will make quick work of any wood ant that strays. So as I was saying, the reason why we get workers is because we can get all this food really, really quickly. We need to gather it really quickly and just by paying for the tanks, we can get, for the price of two tanks, you can get five wood ant workers. So that's three extra lots of food per, you know, 100 food spent on building uh, your ants, essentially. Um, you know, that we can grab. Now, the number you want to go for is 13. Any more costs you too much. Any less. Go with the first lot of wood ants that you build, uh, workers that you build, go with 13 and start... The far end of the there beach. are other wood As ants out here. They have also come to take advantage of the buffet provided by the sea. Territorial disputes will invariably favor the colony. Yep. With the so the enemies numbers. currently on the beach, you've got these tiger beetles just running past here on a little patrol. And then you have the wood ant uh, colony uh, up to the north. Now we're just watching these tiger beetles. You just got to time it right. And any excess food that you're getting being brought back, you need to quickly spend on building yourself some ranged wood ants, which is why I'm going for the yellow uh, marked ones down there. Don't need them to be built yet, just want to grab this food. Right, they're staying there, so we're going to go take a, take a run at this and grab this food. The reason why we grab the food further down the beach is because towards the night the tide comes in, hence the mission name, and that's where you know, all that food then gets washed away. So we need to grab this food down the bottom here first and do the longer range runs and then you can do the shorter range run runs later. Now up here, um, we'll have to time this. That's something we've got to do later, but... The battle has begun. Oh, I'm just checking there. So occasionally those ants will sit and disrupt your supply line. That's why I have to, like, micromanage everything. This, this mission is a lot about micromanagement. Get some more food tiles in here. Right, so we've got enemies in the nest, but at the minute they're not our priority. We don't have things to fight them. Now, real quick, what you can see me doing is just dragging workers back into that nest group. And this is going to allow us to uh, expand nice and quickly. Dig out a bit of a bigger tunnel so we can get more range danced in here. Keep them in these pockets. Now, the reason why I'm building the way I'm building is for the enemy that's going to come later. As you will see, it all falls into place, trust me. I have a plan. I'm with the plan. So, waiting for these raised wood ants to be built, and we're just going to go dig out this little pocket here. Yeah, come on. There we go. Alright. So, you see me enable combat there? What you want to do is make sure that's enabled. There's way too many runs the that I've ruined. Has begun. Look at this machine gun through this. The rapid fire one. Look at this true threat. Yeah. Get that beetle larvae out of here. Alright, grab all this food and then get ourselves back up top in a moment. Uh, come on now. Come on. There we go. Right. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed out to sea. 
So, now we have to take a risk. These big tiger beetles here, um, they move in a random pattern, and there's four of them on a stand difficulty. So you've just got to time it, and it does take a little bit of RNG and a little bit of luck. Just got to time this right. You see me hook in here, cancel, disregard, 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 run away, run away. Think the ants have been spotted by Chichindala hybrida, the northern dune tiger beetle. With its long, slender legs, it's the king of speed on, go, on these intertidal go, flats. Its wide, carving jaws will slice effortlessly through squads of wood ants. It's going to take a monumental unified effort to bring this beast down. Right, so we grab that while we can. And then we're going to get ourselves ready to grab some more uh, food. As you can see, in the bottom left, you've got the mini-map of the overworld, and the water has already risen dead high. We just wait for these little ant bastards to get out of the way. Whenever you're above ground, you want to disable combat. You see me start enabling it now. The water is rising quickly. Control group one has the it disabled. Control group two has ground. it enabled because they'll be able to just shoot through these ants. But what we don't want to do is just trigger those beetles down here by essentially picking up by. Make sure that's disabled. Uh, range down to just machine gun through the enemies. Grab all this food. Come on. Come on, little ants. Right, now we get ourselves up. Did you see the tide coming in again? Get ourselves wood ants. So you've got to be constantly getting these uh, wood ants done. Uh, we've got a handy little trick, as you can see we start doing here. We've got a pocket of food to the stove, and it's normally not um, accessible. While we wait for the tide to rise again, we might as well start clearing out most of this. Underground. Predators are loose in the Small nest. Up. The larvae must be protected. There right, we go. Move ourselves back. Ready. Ready. Go. There we go. So the rapid fire ants are great because, as you can see, we just scythe through the enemy right now. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So workers, uh, not only are they cheap to build, they're also cheap to reproduce. So a egg for a, uh, a worker, as you can see, costs five to hatch for our normal wood ants. For workers, it's only two. Hence why we're using them as meat shields, because they're just so much cheaper. And we can just throw a lot at the enemy really quickly. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the roofer colony to stay underground and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. So we're going to sit out here and wait now. And we obviously just staying clear. The tiger beetles aren't going to go up to that line. We're just going to sit and wait. And we're going for that pocket of food down to the south. There's a lot of food here that we can grab. As you see, some of the enemies start to come out. Overground, nocturnal hermit crabs rule over the sands at night. These creatures are typically scavengers, searching for algae and carrion on the beach. But due to the unusual incursion of Formica rufa colonies into this area, this particular community of crabs has developed a taste for ant flesh. Right, so there's the first two enemies. We have hermit crabs to fight on first night, and they are tough. They have regeneration and a complete pain in the arm. But that big one won't follow us in because he's not part of the uh, the wave attack. The hermit wave. crab has found its way into the nest. Right. The Turn ants must spells. mount a swift and decisive combat back defense. On. Get stuck in. So as soon as the narrator announces about the hermit crab, those tiger beetles disappear. That gives us that really short window to quickly rush in. That's why I had them prepared there uh, for the night. And that's what you need to do. You need to do that to grab this food. Uh, we'll just stick these back in their nest group as they're done gathering. And we've successfully killed the first wave of hermit crabs. This wave isn't difficult, it's the last wave. So while we're waiting, we might as well start get digging. We've got a bit of time to try and kill uh, some of these underground creatures. This is where things become rushed. I mean, it's the same difficulty, so obviously it's going to be rushed, but this is where things start to really pick up and we need to get shit done quickly. 
And uh, if we've got a bit of a gap to clear out this uh, this burrow, then we need to. Because that's going to give us extra food. We always need the food. So I'm just keeping my are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yes, I was there. Right, so typically, as soon as we open the underground, the fucking... The colony is starving. And the crab's stuck coming in. enough food to feed the new brood. Oh, this we should manage. Oof. He says. There you go. Alright. Awesome. So we're going to grab that food real quick. The enemies are going to come in. A group of hermit crabs have stormed the nest. The larvae must be protected. Start mapping out our next room. What we're going to build. The reason why I build like this is because it's more efficient for upgrading the tiles, which we haven't done yet, but we're going to do later. Let's get shooting. Lovely. So again, this wave of um, crab is not necessarily difficult. As you see, their health starts to go up slowly, so we'll probably stay on this one. It'll curl up inside its shell, and then it starts to regenerate its health, even though you're doing so much damage. This is why we picked the rapid fire ants, because they actually do um, a significant amount of uh, damage. So we're not worrying about gathering food, because we've just gathered, you know, there's 80 food. Great. Start leveling up. And that's the upgrade that I'm talking about. But, we need to keep clearing out this burrow. Why? Because we've got more pockets of food. Get yeah, everyone stuck in here. Predators are loose in the nest. See, our workers are squishy and they protected. die quickly. And this is going a little bit backwards, but they're the best option we've got right now. Because they're cheap, efficient, affordable. Tanks just cost way too much. When your tank dies, it costs five food. That's two workarounds. Every, for every tank, essentially, so you can regen. There we go, so we just gathered a shit ton of these little ant eggs. Pull ourselves So I'm hiding everybody in. More hermit crabs have found the nest. Uh, for this fun little tactic that I'll show you in a second. So, send the workers in. The queen is in imminent danger. Right, then we send out ranged wood ants. Now you notice how our ranged wood ants are now stacked behind the queen. So we're going to use the queen as a little bit of a shield. Just to buy time for our workers to come back. Now on our nest group, combat is disabled so that they can keep, you know, picking up the um, eggs from the queen and dropping them back off to spawn our workers. See here, we've got this absolute wall. We've got 108 food. So the ants we must protect the workers. queen. And our machine gunners are starting to grind away. This is the only way I found that I was able to do this part of the mission. I couldn't do it with tanks at all. I think it's just because hermit crabs used to give you a ton of food, and they don't anymore. So I couldn't have enough food. Um, it's been a long time since I played this game, so like the update, they've uh, I think they've nerfed the amount of food that these hermit crabs give you. You see the regeneration going up, so it's wiggling that health bar on the enemy. The ants and must protect are. the queen. So that's how I got past the first night. Now what we're going to do is quickly grab this food and get ourselves uh, collecting as quickly as possible. So to that end, just to get more workers spawning in, I've moved them into the nest group just so that they go and plant the eggs. You always want to have those seven workers at start planting. And then you can just move the other workers over, which we will do in the later rounds. We'll move those workers over to the nest tile and just leave them. So it's not like they're going to get wasted, they're going to continue to just be useful. Alrighty. Get them three over there. Get our guys over here. So what I'm doing now, the tide's going to start going down. So we've got a handy little trick that we can do here on both of the mornings. See the tide's just going down, get some upgrades going. Right. The tide is receding and a new day dawns. The hunters of the night return to the safety of the shadows. And the ants can begin to lay down new trails. The harvest must go on. Right, so we disable food gathering all the way up so that we don't grab this first pocket um, and then all the way up to here 
and then wait for your ants to all gather, 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 beautiful, and then just enable food gather. A dead sardine has been washed up on the beach. This feast oh. is too precious to pass up, but the smell will soon attract other scavengers. Don't bother. The ants will need to amass in great numbers to defend such a prize. Do not bother with the fish. Tried it, it doesn't work. You just end up fighting with the ant colony and losing more than it's worth. So, we gathered that master pocket, which is normally inaccessible because of the uh, other ant colonies there, and they'll just fight you the whole way, and it makes it not worth it. So in the mornings, you can just run up there and grab that food pocket, which is going to give you an absolute fuck down, as you can see here, and support all these upgrades that we're doing on these tiles now. For this pocket here, we can actually fight for it, because the ants are a little bit further away. Um, it's not too bad, there's only a couple guarding it, we can just shoot our way through. Uh, we'll enable combat to that extent. And you can see me accidentally be misclicking because now combat and food gathering is disabled. For our ranged ants. You'll see me realize it in a second. The ants must fight. There you go. Oh shit. <laughs> Might want to turn that up, buddy. There's more ants going to be a pain in our neck. And we're going to shoot in. So as you can see, we can just fight them off. This isn't a, a main a main worry. You turn the food gather back on. So and there we go. We've netted ourselves some extra food. Now we're going to get to the point when we start upgrading is where we're going to have to start fighting these tiger beetles for the food like, yet again. So. As you can see me, I'm always gathering the ants up here on top of the hill because no ants can pass, no tiger bees can pass. And it's a safe place to gather everybody. Right, we'll set the nest group to control group three, and we'll just sit and chip away at these upgrades. We're gonna get a first level three rapid fire ants, which obviously do more damage, have more health, and they slow the enemies. Let's go down here now. Grab this pocket of food. The battle has begun. Yeah, we'll just disable combat because uh, we don't need them to. Uh, we don't need them to be fighting. We don't care. Just ignore them. Because rounds can and will just ignore them. There's no reason not to. Grab most of that food. We're not going to fight that. Not where that tiger beetle stood. Uh, we need to keep going. We see upgrades. So guys, chipping away up here. So we might as well start worrying about underground. You see, keep upgrading these tiles. We want to have a bunch of level threes by the end of the night. We we'll start building our first tanks now. So like I say, are slow and expensive, but they do their job. They just sit and take all the damage. Except they're really expensive and they don't take too much damage. Hence why we use the mighty workers for the first night, because it's just too uh, inefficient for us to uh, handle. There we go. Out to another room. It's going to be for some more ranged ants. Get ready. We're going to activate this pocket of enemies. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Yeah, we need all the food we can get. Hence why we're doing this. And we're not bothering further down the beach now. We're just going to continue in here. Um, there we go. Look how quick we mince through that end now. Grab all this food. Come on, come on, come on. This is a long mission. Because you have the three nights to survive, this is a long mission. This is a bit of a, a bit of a grind, a bit of a pain, but uh, it's what it is. Upgrade the food task, good support for food. So the main aim is by the end of the, or the, the end, start of night three, which is the last night that you need to survive, you uh, you should have a ton of food in reserve to help your ants when they respawn. So it's obviously the cost of food to uh, hatch new eggs, hatch new brood, um, and when your ants die, the eggs are going to hatch again. So you just have to keep, you just have to keep on it. It's just keeping on it. There's this never ending grind to grab food. Which is just the most of the same as just food. Control. The larvae must be protected. And min minimizing your losses. 
but it's just really hard. This game, this this particular mission is just a, a micromanagement nightmare of turn, turn, attack on, turn, attack off. There are intruders here, in the need nest. To put you back here. It's, uh, yeah, this one's a tough one. Hence why it took me, well, I say 19 hours of film time, 20 odd hours of. 30 hours of probably fucking game time to finally hatch this fucker. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. The tide is coming in. Soon the lower levels of the beach will be flooded. Yeah. Any ants caught in the surge will be washed Do you washed see that uh, on the minimap in the bottom left? You see all that stream of red? They're all going for that fish, which is why I say the fish is not worth it. Because we just end up scrapping over it. There's, there's just no point. Let's get this pocket done. Yes. Nest group, that initial nest group over to control group three. Just have them gather the remains of the food while in our the nest. mean two sit and clear. Turn off. Through. Yeah, these through these fuckers. The tanks don't really last too long, especially from these big coach horse fields, which is why I think it's just worth getting workers, to be completely honest with you. Yes. Done. We have a couple of more pockets to mop up in here. The last one that we leave is the top right one, because they're just full of devils, coach horse beetles, uh, the big ones. And uh, yes, yeah, particularly... The uh, water is rising quickly. The ants must head for higher ground. We'll start cutting our way up here. The upgrades. Right, we're getting all our level threes. Up there are now. intruders in the nest. Tanks, you don't really have to upgrade. It's just uh, you range what ants that you want to give in the uh, the upgrades to, just for that higher damage output, etc. Grab all this. I love the soundtrack for this game. Just so pep and bouncy. But then it also can be like morbid and creepy and stuff at the same time. We'll just wait down here for the enemies to come. Get the last of our tanks. There are intruders in the nest. And then we'll just dig this out. Set stuff in the middle here and just shoot the ants. Yeah, must fight. Lovely. Look at this. Freaking mincing through stuff now. And that start when everything's really difficult. And just in time as we open this next pocket. The tide has almost reached its highest point. Just down the there. sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So these are these are black ants that we're fighting that are hiding in this nest. And these are obviously all the eggs. Now, when you start, this is interesting. Or I find this really fascinating. When you start, you start next to a dead ant queen, and that's because wood ant queens will often depose black ant queens and then just take the nest for themselves, which is why you start with black ant workers. Um, I thought it was an interesting little uh, uh, sort of Easter egg, I guess, to or homage to uh, nature that they threw in. There is That's another like, creature yeah, roaming happened. the sands tonight. Arctosa parita, the sand bear wolf spider. In the day, these spiders retreat to the shade provided by larger plants on the edge of the beach. But once the sun has gone, they are far more active and on the hunt for a midnight feast. So I was going to split tanks on the... Uh ranged but I decided to just have everyone in one box. So, sand spiders, horrible, fast, and they send a fucking ton of them. Now, as you can see, we've got 332 food, um, which is great, it's what we need. I don't want to spend any more right now. I might, yeah, I could afford getting one or the two. The spider has found the nest entrance. She is only small, but her venom will quickly incapacitate any ant that tries to fight alone. So these guys, rather than traditionally running straight at your queen. They'll run to your nest group first, which is a complete pain in the ass. So that's why we sit everyone in one nest group, because they'll run between each nest site. As you can see, work one down here, tank up there. This is why we built it the way that we built it. And I've also dug those holes 
to allow the spiders to run in between. And we could just pick them off when they end up in this one nest site. Um, what will happen after a while, you'll... Um, what will happen after a while is you'll get... Um, they'll, they'll start attacking your queen. But at the start, they, they kind of just sit there, to be honest. Um, they just flip between your... Sorry, flip, flip between your nests. So let's just pick them off. That's the last one that we've got to do, and that one is a toughie. But we've cleared out, as you can see, we're checking around, we've cleared out every... Um, you know, we've cleared out every entrance. This is where the enemies come from, by the way, which is why you have very short notice, especially with how fast the spiders are. So, uh, yeah... Wait for it. <laughs> Any minute now. See if we get bored. I'm like, I know you're there. I know you're coming. I know this next wave is due. Alright, right, we'll build some more of this. This the night two by far is the easiest out of all of them. Another wolf spider has entered the nest. This yep. one is large, fast, and voracious. Whatever I say another. Not just another, is it? As you can see the rub between the nest groups, and we just sit in here and just mince through them. Now the spiders actually provide a really good amount of food. Now that this guy's stuck here, we're like, right, well, we'll stay and get engaged now. We can just chase him down. But um, the spiders actually provide a decent amount of food, which is uh, good for us. But I believe more so than what the hermit crabs do. So, uh, it's quite handy. Steamy. Get tempted to dig up here to open this pocket up. Wait for this last wave. So every night you get three waves. Regardless, so on the final night it will be a mix between hermit crabs and the stamp spiders. This is why at the start I built the nest the way that I built, so the enemies can run between, the spiders can run between and not trigger us. We might build a little uh, nest site down here as well. Um, might do some tanks in there. Right. Here we are then. So, set us down at this one. It doesn't really matter which, which nest bite you do, to be honest, because the spider's just going to run between all of them anyway. Uh, we get quite a few on this last wave. So, my mistake was always opening that top pocket up too early, and usually at night, being ballsy, trying to clear it out quickly. Here we go. Look at the wave. How many gribblies? Ugh. Like a set of eight-legged freaks. More wolf spiders have found the nest. Kill them! Kill them all! The ants must Kill protect them. the queen. They're coming out of the walls. The colony is starving. <laughs> there is not yeah, enough food to feed okay. the new brood. We're going to get all this food back from these spiders. So not a problem. And give it a mooch. And last but not least. There we go. Right. So now we're going to open this up and get this done. Before dawn rises, basically. Oh, no, we're not. I changed my mind, obviously. Clearly, we shall do it later. So, night, day three. This is when we're going to start hunting the uh, tiger beetles. This is when we're going to start taking the fight to them. And we could pretty much just flip flop between using uh, the workers and tanks now to gather the food. Uh, or start switching over for using the tanks to gather the food. For a second. We pretty much uh, nailed. Just need me debating. Yeah, fuck it. So, I'll just do disable combat food gather and do the exact same thing again. I tried to, uh, previously, I did try and uh, banzai my ants into the water just to get dangerously close, uh, but it won't let you, unfortunately. I thought it'd be funny in one of the test runs to see if uh, I could throw them into the water. It, it doesn't work. So, the tide's starting to recede, and you know this because the food starts appearing on the minimap, those little black dots in the water there. You know the tide starts to proceed. Uh, I'll start. I think I'm going to build next tank nursery in, in that pocket. Just stock up on a few more. 
you have to keep your markers active, because otherwise you're out to start running back to check in on the nest, which is really annoying. Yeah, mom. Yeah, mom. Then we're gonna get the screw. At least now we've got 38 ranged wood ants. Now the aim is obviously to get them all to level three. Um, tanks again don't matter. As Just the sun rises one. over a new day, the, the tide recedes. The nocturnal creatures return to the shadows, and once again the harvest must continue. As well, so if you can't be cheeky. And it's just all extra food, because uh, my three is a pain. There we go. Right, enable gather. Yeah. How much we grab? We just move everybody back down here now. We got the rest of this way before the enemy ant colony uh, gets to us. That's just a handy, cheeky, easy way to grab food here. And in next year, I think it's like 300, 400 food. Um, which is great because you can just do a shit ton of upgrades. Uh, yeah. I'll start grading our main ants. Come on. Now let's go tanks. Like, shut on. Yeah, I think, I think just a few more tanks will be necessary for the final battle. Also, having a nest group down here means the spiders will run down into it for night three. That's sort of what we're doing, why we're doing it. Get down and grab this pocket down here. We could go down to the beach, um, down at the base, uh, but right now we're just grabbing what's near to us so I can get these upgrades done. And then we're going to work on demolishing all these uh, type eagles. Ooh, that's close. The battle has begun. Turn combat back on. Turn the food gathering off, as you can see, and we are ready start taking on the first tiger beetle. There we go. And of course his mate comes to back him up. Look at this. Rapid fire. Jeez. The huge tiger beetle has been defeated. There are many more of them, but this is a milestone moment for the colony. They cannot be bullied by sheer size alone. Yeah, so we're just going to commit them uh, tiger beetle genocide. <laughs> Now, if you noticed, I haven't put the uh, tanks into slot one, the new ones that we've done. There we go. Now I realised. <laughs> Dear. As you can see, we start to dig out another pocket. I'm actually debating making a third group of uh, range wood ants, just in case. Well, just in case it is an option. Well, we're going to upgrade these first. Just depends on how much food we've got left. But because the gathering's been doing so well, I feel like we've got that sort of option open to us. As so we're just being up those ants down at the beach, and look at our food go flying up. Your food stores are full. Can't be having that. Spend it all. Look at that, 51 essentially tanks, if, even if you call them the workers as, as makeshift tanks, but essentially 38 tanks, 38 um, ranged wood ants, you know, all going to be level 3, we're going to commit some more tank genocide, oh sorry, tiger beetle genocide. D, wait for everyone to gather up here, oh, combat's begun, we should be able to handle this. Okay, maybe not. Come on, guys. I need you to get in here. Thanks for losing too much food. Thank you. Okay, it's just a game of kill everything on the beach now. Now, what I should have done, what would have been the smarter thing to do, is continue moving further down the beach and gathering more food that way and save these beetles till last. Um, that's what I should have done. A uh, little sort of takeaway point there. We'll uh, hold this food now. We're pretty much just so strong that it's not going to matter. Like, look, we're, we're all going to stop and drop our food. Gun this guy through now. We we'll just steamroll through this this next stage. But yeah, what I should have done is gone further down the beach and gathered uh, those other pockets of food. 
Um, would have given us more food, more option. So I should have gone down here. Um, but yeah, I'm also considering just opening this pocket up now and just getting rid. So we're grabbing the food storage again, just to store more food. We want as much food in the larder as possible because we are going to take significant losses during this last night. As we go, move in and stay. Yeah, come on, Tiger Beetles. Fucking want some. Let's go, Stan. The ants must defend I'll themselves. I'll give it to you. I'll go through all this cheese. Die, 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 die. Yeah, you will run away. Get the wood. Give me food. He's going to come back in a sec. There's no way he doesn't come back. There he is. Hello. Uh, thanks. Yeah, there you go. I need to do your job, please. Thank you. Good cover. So now I'm sort of realizing, you know, hey, let's get this pocket opened up. Because we want it done by before the night. But like I said, in hindsight, should have just gone down to the end of the beach and grabbed a bunch of food. Um, it's quite frustrating that the tiger beetles don't attack the other ants. The tide is um, coming in. Soon the lower levels okay. of the beach. Is what it is. You see me. See, we had a little jump there as my recording stopped. I had to quickly repress. Go, go, go. Rainbow Row. Take me home. It's -a me, a Mario. Fuck your blue shells. Oh, my mama, take me home, rainbow room. I don't know why that's got stuck in my head, but I hope. Um, do, 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 do. We're all a little mad here. Um, do, 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 do. Gather all the food, gather all the food. So yeah, no, this is where we're just going to sit and stockpile, and get ready for the night. Uh, there's ton of food, which is awesome, so we can finish off upgrading these guys to level 3, and yeah, we basically just sit now and the water is wait rising for quickly. The, uh, the ants must head for higher ground. Wait for these spiders and the and eels and bullshit to come to us. Now what you can do on these end ones, you see it's like 11 to 12, you can stick for 5 food, you can stick the speed tile in there, and um, just on the end, and that allows you to just get that uh, whole lot upgraded. Um, but we're not really, we don't really need to do it. Now we've got 372 food in the bank, which is beautiful. We're going to gain food in the waves um, that happen. With this tide to rise, once the, all these ants get killed. Yeah. Look at this. So many. So many. Just a pain in the ass disrupting the supply lines. Yeah, it's annoying that the tiger beetles don't fight with the ants, but that would be too easy because they just take each other out and we just take the spoils. Would be too simple. Look at how many there are. This is where we start at the bottom of the thing first, as you see me misclick. <laughs> don't want to do that. Alright, here comes the tide rising. The tide has almost reached its highest point. The sands east of the nest are about to be completely flooded. So we've successfully cleared out the burrow, gathered a shit ton of food, uh, you know, basically committed war crimes on all the tiger beetles on this sand. And then again, we're insects, we always commit war crimes. Um, yeah, we, we've essentially done everything we can. Fatality! It's an annihilation! Right. The tide is in, and soon night will fall. As the temperature drops outside, nocturnal creatures begin to awaken. It would be wise for the Rufa colony to stay underground, and hope that their nest remains hidden until the morning. Yep. So there always was a temptation to go outside and quickly just pick off a couple of hermit crabs for some extra food. But the 
night three waves are so strong come quite quick that it's just not worth it we've just gotta sit here and suck it up essentially like see them running over right here comes the wave and it's spiders a wolf spider has found the nest the reason why I went in this pocket is because uh, of the tiger, uh, sorry, tiger, of the tank pocket they've got at the bottom right. As you can see on the map, that little red spider running. So it's just drawing them down here because they have to pass through this area to get to it so we can pick the spiders off nice and piecemeal. Now, yes, we're taking losses, but we're going to gain this food back massively in the spider waves. It's the hermit crab waves that we tend not to like gain as much. The ants must so now we set ourselves the in the middle because they're starting to envenomate our our queen and do us some damage. Just why the narrator says we must protect the queen, blah blah blah. No worries, right. Century through the last this. So we lost about a hundred food there. I don't remember what we were on. We lost about a hundred food, maybe two hundred food now. Uh, yeah. Go. But now we will gather all this sweet, sweet nectar. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your food. It is most appreciated. Your sacrifice is. But yeah, 56 food per spider. So that's just stopped us right back up. I think the hermit crabs give us like 38, something like that. That's what I've been noticing. But yeah. So we're down there on 600 food now. So I'm like, right, well, we'll chuck a couple of tank level ups in there. Why not? Um, not going to spend too much. We still, let's say, we still want to keep keep this reserve. But uh, yeah, there you go. Here's the fucking absolute monster wave of hermit crabs that we're going to lose a lot of ants on. So More same tactic as we did night one. Nest. Or it would have been. Oh, that's what I was considering doing the same tactic as night one. But I decided that we're just going to. We could just cram them in here. We'll be much better off. But as you can see, I start actually cock blocking our uh, tanks from getting through. Uh, because our range dance just throwed it. But yeah, I was kind of worried about them moving too far forward. But with our waves, obviously, we slow down our enemies with our stuff. Our rapid fire is cutting through even their recovery right now because we've just got so much concentrated and because they're tightly packed in so there's so many that we can shoot at one time and they're doing the whole pullback of the tree now this is the reason why we put the workers now those 19 workers that we had back into that nest group we can always drag them over if we need to in the emergency but they're going to be running from the queen and dropping those ants off uh, dropping the eggs off that's why going with workers at the start, not just to get through the first night, but also you have that reserve that you can constantly just be regenerating our forces as the final home crab dies. We get all this food back, and as DB starts just level two in some of these tanks, because we're going to have a swath of food. Look at that. Yeah, might as well just level two it. And here comes the last enemy. A huge wolf because that long, has found this the colony. third wave. This one and is all the babies are in. And her recently hatched brood have followed her into the nest. These ants are facing an overwhelming infestation. We need to get ourselves back over to this queen here. Come on, boys. Obviously, they don't know what to shoot. And we shred through. This, by far, is the hardest way. Obviously. Because they've killed all our workers now. The queen we just have is our in danger. Yes, yes, yes. But we've got rid of the two big ones, and that is the important bit. These little ones, we can just pick off now. Those two big ones are the ones that did all the damage. Oh my god. Come on, you little fuckers. And that is us. We just need to mop this up. And uh, we have successfully conquered the mission. So that's how I did it. Um, there is, obviously, scope and room for improvement. But that's how I did it. Let me just wait for the final end credits. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Victory is ours, victory is ours. Nope, nope, wrong theme, wrong theme. We're not doing that theme. We're not doing that theme. Yeah, look at that. Our food stores are full. Not for long, because obviously we're respawning, but that's it. We, we essentially have conquered the beach now. We could even go up outside and pick a fight with some uh, some people up top. Like, it doesn't matter. We've just uh, yeah, absolutely killed it. You just see all the uh, morning monsters start coming up. And the tide starts to recede. As the ants grow in number, the local predators pose less and less of a danger. Eventually, they will be displaced from this area entirely. Despite the dangers of the beach, it seems this intrepid queen's gamble to establish her colony here has ultimately secured her success. And a beautiful victory, and of course we're going to take the extra royal jelly for our upgrades. I don't really care about the territory. As we get plenty of that, but there we go. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviours. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Go kill that. And we're back to our former carrier. We get a set, we get a gather. And uh, we're going to start digging out uh, some spot for our wood ants. But that will have to wait until the next uh, episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to take on challenge 2.2 next. And uh, let me tell you, it's... It's going to suck. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay awesome. Peace.
Hello everybody, welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean and today we're doing mission 2.2, which is Queen of the Hill. A number of small Formica, Rufa and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Okay, so as you can see, we have our workers being built, and the reason why we're building workers is simply because we need as many ants as possible gathering food, just like the episode 2.1. And the almighty worker, uh, as with every good, uh, every good great. Uh, empire. The worker is what builds our forces and the worker is what gives us success. Now, I tried doing this without uh, uh, taking the food up Although top. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the uh, food washed up work. by the sea, okay. this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. All right, now that we've got this food done up here, we're going to dig our way out. We should get more of these ants spawning in. Now dig, 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 dig. Now let's go this way. We'll take combat off just for now while we get this initial food going. And then we need to start building out our ranged ants. So I went with the mortar ones because in this mission you're going to get assaulted by wave after wave of ants. And the mortar is the best small for way. Now. Food is too scarce to support greater and numbers. Uh, we might go with some more work, actually. Uh, let's do another three. But... So, we need to defend this against these ladybugs. But, um, right now, we just need to focus on grabbing the food. This is going to be the one we're going to defend. This one, uh, I feel just a little bit too far out of reach. But yeah, this is the one we're going to defend and try and hold throughout. So, with that in mind, let's keep this train of ants going. Uh, we'll pop you in there. Control group 2. These guys are on the attack now. We will be able to dig out all of this, but, uh, yeah, we need to Keep acting quick, so you'll see me flip and flap and fly between. This is the problem with the mortars, they're just, just dog shit at shooting stuff. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, look at that wave. Alright, start putting combat back on now. Let's get ourselves some more mortars. The first wave of enemies. Uh, we could basically buy ourselves. Uh, let's go. I put you here. Do like that. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll just do it this way. Uh, go. So. 
It's gonna be for our tanks. Right, I need a. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, this is where I start wasting fucking time. Right, here comes the first invasion force. Because we have a party of Fusca Black Ants are heading inland. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. Just want to pull my ass. Yeah. Just fight about here. Grab some more of this. So, the first night we're going to spend clearing out all of this area. Uh, we need to make a little nest for you, actually. The reason why I'm doing this is for these guys to help support. Right, here comes the next wave. Right. The so Rufa colony on the low ground are sending right. troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. Uh, fighting is on. Go, go, go. The battle has begun. Tanks. Right. Control group one, combat's on, get you in here. Good, let's get this done. Right. Then we're going to build a essentially another chamber. Do something like this. Doesn't particularly matter. The lower ground colonies have relented their siege for now. Night approaches, and with it, right. it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, boys. Right. Here's what we're going to do. We've got the second group here to sit and fight all the enemies in the... Um, in the nest. We're going to use the tanks to shield and then these guys to fight. What we're going to do up here is essentially have our workers and our ranged ants guarding this. You can see this mob here. I might have done this a little bit too late. It's okay, we'll get some aphids back. And we're just going to sit and guard this side all night. Because we need this for food. Let's go. Right. Congratulations, you have control group 4. Get digging. No. Looks like. There are intruders in the nest. Three and four. So it'll trickle in for now, but uh, the main aim is obviously to just... Three and four. I'll take you off food gathering duties right Predators now. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Uh, four, not five. Fleshing this out, and then we'll start upgrading these boys shortly. Go, 
Lovely. Got a bit of food coming on here now. Oh dear god. Look at this wave! There, what's going on here? There we go. Gather, gather, gather. Across this way, like so. Three and four. Three, cut that off. Clear the rest of this out. Let's start doing some upgrades. We do need to start getting uh, the level three. There are intruders and in the nest. Oh, get them. So if we damage them enough, I think to like a third, they then start flying away. Without having eaten. Oh, guys. How are we getting on here? Yeah. We're doing okay. Yeah, this is essentially a numbers game. You can't... I've tried it so much by just ignoring defending this, because it takes too much time. But you can't not. You need this honeydew. This constant supply of honeydew. Let's go like that. Let's do that way first, please. Come on, workers. You fuck up. Let's get right. We've got one level three. Let's do that. So, uh, three and four. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Lovely. Alright, we should have this nice and secure. I'm going to stay to this. As fun as it would be to fight that, you don't really need to. Control B5, go there. Just pull three and four back here. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, no way for them to come here. Yeah, we're not in a. As aggressive as I want to be, we're not in a massive rush to do this right now. There we go. Right, now just to fend them off. Keep gathering this food. See how it's all stocked up now. It's going to give us that constant supply. That's why I'm doing it. Once I tried doing it the other way, and it didn't fucking work. Basically. Uh oh. And last but not least, we did the same tactic. Three and four, like that. You go back to that duty. There are intruders in the nest. Three and four, go! Come on. I don't understand why you've not won this yet. Come on. Dawn breaks, gather, and the battle for the high three, ground will soon continue. Four, Many aphids were eaten in the night. Five down the here. high ground colony must ration their food carefully. Alright, let's get control group one up here, gathering in here. This is where we're going to get attacked now. So, we have a good amount of level threes. Could do with more for sure. Just wait for this attack. Don't just attack once we get in. Because we're getting a good amount of food. Two. Another three of these bad boys. Right. Everyone get in here. 
The Fusca colony is sending a wave of warriors to clear a path for their queen. You see how much food we get now. Oh. And with the level 3 mortars that we have, we now get to flash damage. We'll be able to take out this wave. Four, like that. Um. Which way we want to go about this? We'll do it quick, Sean. Three and four come this way. Oh no. Three and four come this way. Again, just continuing to defend this, this spot. Right, here they come. Drop the twos back in. We should the be able to colony fight this are sending around. another assault. They are desperate to reach higher ground. We should be able to handle this. Uh, by ourselves over here. here we go. Yeah, easy. Because cheap workers are the best. Right. Trouble two needs to get outside. And that's all done. Right. Control group five, go do what you're doing. Uh, go open up another room here. Three and four. So we're just clearing out the pockets. We don't need to worry about gathering the food right now. We can, do, we can nip in and do that at any time. Get the fuck out of here. Here comes the other wave. Control group two. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. Upgrades, people, upgrades. This. Mm, come on. Mm, might fuck this up a little bit. Oh, our tanks arrived just in time. There we are. Lovely jubbly. That way now. Three and four over here. Just continuing to build and expand. Go faster tile. There are intruders Not in the still nest. Still guarding this. Here we go. More soldiers are emerging from the roof and nest. Sorry, right, we're not worrying about this. The queen is in imminent okay. danger. We'll have that guarded in no time, it's not an issue. Crush. The colony is stuck. There is not enough Blast food to in. feed the new brood. This is not the perfect run. This never is a perfect run. I'm just not that good at this game. Right, lovely. So these come down here, twos come down here, threes and fours to grab this food. Now we cleared out the pockets, we grab them real quick. In fact, twos need to get out on land now. Grab this food. And then we need to flesh this out and obviously get more level threes. We should have probably like 38 level three mortars, I think, is the, the main aim. Just gonna expand this one up here. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice. Do they defend the aphids, 
or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? I know it's not very efficient the way that I'm building it really doesn't matter too much. It's the numbers of the tanks that you don't need to upgrade the tanks, just the ants must get them defend themselves. Probably. Look at this. This. Attack them. Just bombard. Go and see, killed a bunch. We'll put threes out here. Alright. Now we've got to attack this with a mixture of ones. Do this way. You are now group three. You are now group four. Group ones can come outside. So. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must we'll attack, be protected. Attack, attack. What is control group four doing? Come on. See if you, seriously, if you don't pull your thumb out your ass, guys, you are going to die. Horrendously. Hmm. Could be an issue. Oh well. There we go. Okay. We should swap that back around again. Mm. Uh, right. What are the places we got? This one. Okay, we'll do. Wait until we get a, a decent stack in this group. 14 or 25, what we are. 25, 37. By the time we finish this, that'll be 38, and then we'll see if we can't get them all at level 3. Oh, need the food, need the food, guys. Need the food. Bombard, bombard everything. Just gotta hold this side. Alright. Uh, we can do this one now, I believe. Three and four. There we go. There are intruders in the nest. No, it's not sacrifice people needlessly, Sean. Go! Alright, let's stick in. You guys should have this in the fucking bag. Seriously. Yeah, that'll get handled nicely, accordingly. So even though this is like quite small, it's just trickle flowing in the uh, numbers that we need. That's the best one. Let's get down there. Come on. And we opened up a ton of food opportunities here. Also, that we're killing the ladybugs gives us ten. It's awesome. Predators are loose right. in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Last of that, we need to get these upgrades going. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. It's fucking went. Yeah. I'm gonna fight up this way. Down. Oh, we killed the hermit crap one. That's handy. Get these guys down here. Come on. Meek. 
making mistakes. Disgusting this food. We might lose, but it will be fun. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, kill that thing. Right there. Yeah, that's the one. Right. Now go back up here. Do your fucking job. Three, four, come on. Right. Uh, oh. Uh, what we'll do then? Grab food out of there. We're taking that food back, so we'll wait. Right, come on. Dawn breaks and the battle for the high ground will soon continue. Many aphids were eaten in the night. The high ground colony must okay. ration their food carefully. Right, let's do it this way. There are intruders in the nest. I might have fucked up the timing on this. Like that. Go. Yeah, I might have bollocks the timing on this. That's why I'm sticking the tanks up here. More black ants are emerging from the Fusca nest. This is okay. Right, we've got the shields here anyway. Let's grab this food. One go here. Two come here now. Go, 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 go. Cool. Right. Should have this handled. Then this food gets dropped off. Uh, control group five go here. Two go here. Uh, three and four can come here because you can absolutely handle that. If you don't, I'll go pierced. Right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. More soldiers are emerging from the roofer nest. Go, 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 come on! Stuck in. Get to pull that food off. Pull up, pull up. Go, go, go! And our mortars should side through this. Our mighty workers are uh, dying in droves, but uh, at the same time. Make for a very handy distraction. Well, they right. Come here. Open this pocket up. There are intruders in the nest. Go, go, go. Quickly wipe this out, just with sheer mass of mortars. Look at that. Siphon through it. Should have the Black Invasion Force coming again soon. Okay. Let's come see these bad boys. Both lower ground colonies are now sending um, out armies at the same time. Yeah, we're gonna need everybody up here. Right, twos go here. Ones and threes up here. Twos, fours, go. Should massacre this rather quickly. How much food we've still got stayed? It's okay. It's okay. Our workers are doing their jobs. There we go. White. Uh. No, I don't like the way that's sat. Go. Everybody down here, real quick. Control group one can come here and grab this food. 
Five now. Go, 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 go. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. One, three. Black ants one. and wood ants are heading from their nests to the high ground. Come on. Right, a bunch of them are leaving. That's okay, that's awesome. Fine. Here's the priority, and we'll worry about them later. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Oof, look at these weight and numbers. Jesus. Isn't this fucking terrifying? Let's take care of. So now it'll just be kill everything above ground. Uh, two, go three, four, control group five, come here. They should be able to take care of that. It's fine. Right. So our workers have now done their jobs. And now's the time to actually build tanks. So our workers have basically fulfilled their their purpose essentially. I'm just gonna grab this food. Just gonna grab everything in now. Night falls, and a temporary truce emerges between the warring colonies. Once again, the high ground wood ants must make a choice: do they defend the aphids, or will they hide, resting their forces until the morning? The idea is to have this filled. All right. Let's go with this, this, bunch of that. Uh, oh, I forgot to turn the food gather on. The battle has begun. Oopsie. That'd be why nothing's fucking happening. Probably five, go down there. Bring the tanks back to the surface now. Cover for this because we're going to lose too many ants otherwise. Go. I'm going well. Look at that. That's a lot of food right there. Right, so how are we looking? 22 level 3s. We need about 38 on the motor front. So, currently not good enough. So before we do anything to do with the tanks, we need to make sure we get a lot of tanks. We need a lot of level 3 models. Let's just do it here now. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to mm -hmm. feed the new brood. Alright, it'll be fine. Everything will be dandy, sunshine. Don't worry. Now gathered all the food inside. We've got a ton of food coming here. So now we're going to do. Let's wait for these to respawn. Come over here, boys. Time to have this massive mega duke it out fight. Because there's no more food here. We need 
this trap. We need to win this trap quick. We might lose this, you know. I might have uh, miscalc. Mopping this up. Genocide one on either thing. Kill all bugs. Kill all bugs. Oh, we need to go over here and gather the rest of this food. You know you're not a combat focus guy, right? Over here. Ooh, we got load of hermit crabs here. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Talking about kill, 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 kill. Come on, I know you could go to this. Coming out of their nest now. Last night's high tide was dangerously push. close to the low ground nests. Today is their last chance to relocate. The ants must prepare for their final battle. Many aphids were eaten in the night. Food will be scarce. Yeah. So, time for us to go hide because they're going to try and take this. Or the... Let me grab this. Try to do three non combat grab. Should be able to grab that small pocket of food at minimal loss. Sweet, yep, we got it. There we go, pop them in like so. Let's do this and open up a, a path so that our guys aren't sat like fucking really retards in the way. A large black ant force has been sent from the Fuscan. And here we go. So we've got 400 food in reserve. We have... What's this? 23... 7... Okay, we've got 30 mortars. Level 3. Could have done with a bit more. But I think that was just me mismanaging earlier on, which has cost us that extra food. The main aim here, though. Pack in has begun. and kill everything. Not bad. I don't see why we can't use their fucking bodies as food. I don't. I, don't. I really don't. It's just really... Really annoying. So the workers, by jamming the workers in here, we actually... They actually become like extra... Targets. So that the damage doesn't get spread. Or concentrated against just your tanks, which cost a lot more. So it just gives the enemy more things to aim at. Because workers are so cheap. I think is is kind of the idea. 
Alright, here comes this fucking mob. This one's going to be the difficult one. And then we get the round More two, and then we get the, the high ground colony. We need to absolutely axe off. Go! There we go. The ants must fight. Just jam them at the centre here, and then we can kill all these ranged ants really quickly. Okay, just fire over here. Just need to drop a, a good couple of mortars over here. There we go. Lovely. Right, that one cost us a lot of food. We have time to recover. Quickly just assist in the uh, replanting of the eggs. Please. Let me just move them back over. Oh, there's a tiny morsel of food there. We'll take it because we need it. Move you back in the group now. Don't see any other scrap. Both lower ground colonies yeah, are go. now sending out armies at the yeah, same time. Stuff. Right. One there, two there. You back in our business. Go, 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 go. The battle has begun. Yeah, that's it. Yes, that's what we talked about. Alright, here come the black ants. Hey, look at this concentration. This is where the splash damage comes in from the mortar. Right, we have a great amount of food left still, which is good. I believe now is where we fit, fight the ant queens. And that'll be us. grab a quick quick couple of morsels take our chance while we've got it we go yep yeah, just grab that honeydew lovely All right ones and twos back in here they come so here comes the horde look there's the queen go we'll kill that bitch the day is almost over the low ground is already starting to flood the lower ground nests are emptying completely and the ants are rushing Let's up the bank. In here as well. This is their final assault. Combat on, combat on. Oh, nearly forgot to do that. <laughs> well, look at this. It's like 300 ants. Yeah, come up. Come up. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I believe. We believe. Yes. Get that queen bitch there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get her. The ants oh, there's one. The queen. Here's the last one. Yes. Woo! And there's victory. Workers. Workers are the key. The beach is ours. Oh, it only took me three days of constant trying to actually pass this level before I realised that workers are just fucking superior in every single way, shape and form. The wood ants upon the hill have finally defeated their would-be successors. Tomorrow their empire will expand to the undefended intertidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony will rise to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. Boom. Nailed it! And as you can see, this is not the first time I passed this level because I randomly stumbled across actually winning this level. That's why I've done this. Fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leafcutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean, and today we're taking on the rainforest, and ooh, this one was tough. The new ants that we've got, these leaf ants, are really fun to play. 
I really like the mechanic uh, of the game, uh, of the way that they play. Uh, I just think it's pretty fun. We have several new tiles to play with, and I'll explain more of those in a bit. Now, this test run I did was just... Um, it, I, I did it this morning, and I didn't expect to win, but we ended up winning. So let's review the footage and uh, see how we get on. The small scouting so we're digging out here. workers could lead yes, any was. number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. <clears throat> the harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. So as you can see here, I was just having a quick look around, uh, sizing up what food options are available and where the enemies are. Now, the enemies come in a bit randomly and uh, they're a fucking pain in the ass. Your run on Insane could just be ruined by one ill-placed enemy mob, uh, whether that's a spider, uh, a fucking worm, a beetle, whatever. Um, the ants so you see me the cautiously excavating out. They are being watched. Because there's no point, because we're leaf cutters, and we, as the narrator said, we create this fungus. There's actually no point in us clearing out the bobs. They're just a hindrance for our base building, essentially. Uh, there's no point in cleaning out the underground because we're not going to gain any food from doing so, and it's just going to be a waste of time. So just don't bother. Just build around. Um, and where that is, you'll probably sit and find out. I mean, I had a couple of practice runs. But this is only like my ninth or tenth run or stab at this. And, uh, yeah, like I say, somehow we managed to fucking do it. Um... Right, so I'm building a couple more workers. Now, the workers are cheap, sure, but they don't gather as much food. Uh, they only gather, I think it's like seven food that they carry. Uh, and it's kind of a pain, I'm not going to lie. So these are little minim workers. You see how they are. These tiny little ants running around carrying the leaves now. And there's our worker ants next to them. So there is like this massive discrepancy. They just spawn. I, I mean, I don't know how they spawn. I just know that they spawn sort of concurrent to the size of your colony. You get a bunch of them. Over to the right there, you see with the minus one going down is the rubbish tile. And on the rubbish tiles, we um, uh, that's where the excess gets stored and picked up and put away. And should be working this out now. So, above ground, I love this. Love how our ants climb the stalks and pick off parts of the leaves. Just really cool little animation. Quite enjoy. So, we got an enemy ant colony, and this is who we're directly competing against. Now, on the runs, the main run is as long as they don't take the top area, we'll be okay. If they do start taking that top area, we're fucking screwed. As I'm waiting for 80 of the green, grey and red bar at the top. Uh, I'm waiting for 80 of that. And then we can finally start getting our decent workers. These are called uh, media ants. And uh, they hit pretty hard. Uh, they can handle their own against most uh, low-level enemies, unlike the workers. And um, they can carry a lot more. So these are the prime ones that we're going to be using. We're basically just going to be the most accessible ants. leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another atter colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Damn straight, brother. Right, so we... We'll need to undercut those ant competition. Now, what I found is, if they take the leaves to the north, we're fucking screwed. So just waiting. Just, you know, come on. It's just a fucking waiting game sometimes. So you obviously start off slow, but uh, as we progress gathering the food, things will speed up with our, our building. Uh, 
There we go. And as you see, whenever you spend food, you get this more in the red. And that's because the fungus is uh, basically turns to rubbish. And that's what these little minim workers will pick up and deposit in the rubbish pile. On the rubbish pile, you see on the top right the nice little red number. Uh, it keeps jumping up and then going down. That's because the rubbish tiles over time get rid of all that crap. Just decomposes. No these rubbish tiles actually deal damage to your workaround. So don't deal damage to the little minin fuckers, the ones that actually do carry stuff there. But they do damage your worker ants. Uh, and any other ant that crosses over it for that matter. Alright, so we nearly finished uh, ripping off this uh, stalk. I found that you have to put your markers pretty much bang on the stalk if you want them to, to pick it. Otherwise, they'll just uh, sometimes they just run past it. So we've got combat disabled because we just don't want to be wasting time uh, sitting around. Get ourselves some more troops. Stores full. Okay, we need to start grinding that then. And build a couple more. There are only five. Come on, workers. There we go. Thank you. Camel. There we go. Right. Now we're getting and gathering. This is a long haul, this uh, one, and there's obviously no real guarantee of success because of the random placement um, of where the opposing colony comes to gather. If they gather over to the far left, You've got a better chance just because it takes them longer to get over there, but they also occasionally will switch it up. Um, like on this one, they primarily... One sort of lot went left to start with, which gave us a bit of time. Uh, but as you can see, they're already damn near double our... Um, our leaf gathering amount. So this is where we have to just keep chipping away. Just keep chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. The reason why I did the second lot of workers is, again, just to get 14 workers going, gathering leaves. Yes, they don't gather that much, but it allows us to start, sort of start uh, steamrolling in. As the numbers. sun sets Plus below the horizon and, and the thick get. rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. Okay, so the night predators are pretty fun, and we will end up fighting all of them in this run, so I can show you that as we get there, and the narrator no doubt will uh, mention them. So, night one again, relatively lucky, we didn't get um, a mega pain in the arse. So, you see me start to uh, move the workers. So that's a harvester, spider. Uh, just a little sticky, little sticky leg, thin leg thing. Pain in the arse. The ants must defend Get themselves. Some more of them. So, that, here we go. Come on. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. And when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. So with the harvest birds, you damage them so far and they basically just run away. They have a tendency to try and avoid you, you can pretty much just ignore them. Um, but I let, left combat on just so that our uh, line wasn't disrupted. And we can knock them that down pretty quickly. Not, um, it's not the end of the world. See, so just running away. It's like, nope, I don't want to deal with you. gather this. So normally just gather to the left and to the right first and then by the start of day two you want to start moving more towards the center and grabbing that food there. The reason being is so that you can deny the uh, food for your enemy, deny that sort of asset and make the other colony go further away to collect their food. The problem is to the top right if they're gathering from there it's pretty much fucking game over. Or if they send their full force together from there. Because they get like, I think it's like something like 5,000 food up there just off rip that they can gather super quick. 
and there's just nowhere stopping it. Uh, not early on, at least. A little bit later, Overwhelmed by the we kind of get in there and try forces, to disrupt them. But the in general, man. decides to make a swift exit. Yeah, so you get the harvestman down to like about half health, and they they just book it, which is uh, quite nice. And then they tend not to bother you after that. Um, we are getting a good amount of these media workers now, which is lovely. So we're doing all the major gathering. As you can see, we've run out of food, so I have to keep food enabled here so that uh, I can actually see what we're bloody well doing because it's, uh, it's a bit of a pain. Not gonna lie. Some more. So now we're starting to. You know, roll in the uh, the food nice and quickly, and uh, be able to get obviously more ants, which is the whole point. The number at the top for the amount of food slash fungi that you can store uh, on that red bar is uh, you know correlates to how many sort of tiles, uh, work tiles you basically put down. So um, each tile that you put down can store twenty fungus. Um, and that's why that number will keep, you know, gradually going up the more that we place and the more that gets built. See, we're just... Even one ant on its own is basically winning this fight against the harvester. So, we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, man. Getting going. So, we're chipping away nicely now. We've got our three little workers just beavering away, trying to build the colony. Uh, while well, the minim workers are doing all this, like collecting and depositing. The reason why we upgrading the rubbish pile to the right there is because we can then um, uh, get rid. It processes the rubbish faster. The more you upgrade those tiles, the faster you do it. I think level three, something like every half a second or something like that. Uh, it's, it's nice and quick anyway. So again, because we don't need to fight the enemy. And um, ah, yes, you don't. Personally, I don't think you need to upgrade your forces. I think it's purely a numbers one, this one. You don't need to upgrade anybody to level 2 or whatever. Just fucking just keep placing workers. Get the numbers rather than the um, the quality. Go for quantity. Uh, at least that's my theory. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Get number 2 of them down. Uh, seems to be slowing down a bit now. Come on, the other. Yeah, we want to get a mega stockpile of these media ants. Again, just because they can gather so quickly. And they can hold their own, unlike our workers. And we could just use our little worker group, our group one that we've got here, just to uh, grab like the little tidbits that are left behind, um, just to mop that up. Whereas um, we'll use our big uh, red workers to... Uh, or red, red ants, should I say, red uh, media marked ants, they uh, use them to gather just the mainstay of the food. But yeah, this is a race again, it's not just the clock, uh, it's also a bit of RNG because certain, like again, certain enemies spawn in certain areas, and there's chances that you can spawn one way or another way, and because of that, uh, it does make this really difficult, like on some of the earlier runs I was doing and testing, just just getting smashed right at the start. I had one where we had a couple of beetles spawn at the start and just, just completely disrupted the workers that we had um, and just destroyed them pretty much off the get-go, which meant because we then got a slow start, we got nowhere near the amount of food that we needed to to win. So you see me flick one to set people off down here. We've gathered enough here. So now we're going to start um, gathering more food elsewhere because our local resources have runneth dry there we go lovely all right dig out another patch here so the reason why we want a second group is just for that flexibility of setting one to combat on uh but food gather off so that they can be the guards for the other train no it wasn't necessarily that um important here uh pretty much just set everyone to gather uh for the main runs that i did previously it was required but for this one we were kind of just getting away with it so um as is the uh the case with rng um missions but yeah so we see like right we've got a couple of harvestman spiders up here smash them no worries 
they're not gathering, so these are the main ones. Those were the main leaves that we wanted to gather. Quick, 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 quick! Get some upgrades, people, upgrades. Do, 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 do. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. Yeah, For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. Yeah, so we're grabbing all of them uh, in the center, for, like I said, by day two. You know, you need to be getting in on this uh, center stuff. I decided to uh, just be cheeky here. Because the red bar was so big, I thought, all right, we'll be cheeky. We'll build ourselves some more... Uh, Workers. A young velvet worm, just they're cheap, or they're a peripatus equidoriensis, has been uncovered by the ants. These ancient mysterious predators are masters of Memphis. ambush. They creep toward their unwitting victims silently on soft, hollow legs. Oh, Once in range, they spread oscillating streams of slime, forming a wide net that entraps their prey. A brightly patterned yep. jumping spider, Sacrosphery de Purpureus, has subdued one of the workers. So I haven't actually noticed this expert that the, uh, hunter there is an enemy in the nest right now. extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. <laughs> Once Some finally range, like it's yeah. long we accidentally did four four legs and ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. And as you can see, the queens took a bit of a beating, but uh, yeah, we're able to kill that off. The reason why I did this second area was just to stick a ton more media ants, uh, but as you can see, we've still got another area set. I was also thinking of digging it out uh, where I can make an even bigger rubbish pile because, as you can see, we're uh, we're needing to uh, get more uh, get more refuse piles down, uh, refuse tiles down. Did I say? Look at our leaves. So now we're starting to struggle because you see we're uh, on our nest group. We've only got one of six. You see me noticing a set going like, "Come on, why is why is everybody being so fucking slow?" And I'll, uh, I'll finally realise in a moment that it's... There we go. I'm like, shit, right, okay. We need to drag all them in. But while the workers are doing that, our media ants can be gathering all of this stuff. Look at this. This is a giant harvester spider. Look at the size of it. But like I said, they tend to just bugger off and run away. They don't uh, really want the smoke. As he says, as they just start fighting again. But, yeah. Finally, our uh, workarounds are getting on and doing the damn job. Start planting some more. Get the second group going. Love it. See this giant harvester. This one's uh, in a particular pain in the ass, just because it's bigger, more health, tougher. And our ants are still gathering on the way. Is it constantly getting these media amps going? We can worry about the blue ones, which you know we'll see soon. But uh, we we'll worry about the blue ones later because we're currently not under real threat, and just with the weight of numbers, we could basically destroy most things that come our way. Uh, moved everybody back to that group. The fucking jumping spider. So fun, fun, fun. So you probably need about, uh, I'd say like three or four um, media amps to kill it. As I decide, you know, you've been a pen in the ass. As they scurry in, scurry out quick. And then we end up chasing them all the way around. <laughs> like for fuck's sake, come back here, you little shit. Uh, yeah, well, uh, there you go. Killed them off nicely. Right, get ourselves up here. So that patch up top, which we're currently gathering from, that's the most important one that you you need to get because it's a lot of food, 
for us, and also then it denies the enemy a lot of food. So it's like a mixed. We, we, this mission is like a mix between food gathering and food sabotage, essentially. So building a ton of uh, refuse tiles here to try and clear out some of this crap and get some upgrades going. This uh, our leaf storage is getting uh, quite tight. So now I've flicked that second, uh, the main nest group back to, uh, you know, the, the nest workers that we spawned with initially. Flick them now back to help. Um, get all that stuff done. And we've got the 11 workers that we made in that upper uh, sort of storage area above the entrance. They're now, that's just their job now to collect. Because our primary focus now is just to be doing this. Uh, building these uh, tiles and digging out areas to put more ants. You can see our food starting to like shoot up quite nicely, but yeah, we need to keep upgrading this leaf storage because we're getting it in at a rapid rate now, which is great. And again, this is like having so many of these uh, media ants uh, helps us. You see on the left on the numbers, you know, the enemy's what, about 1400 ahead of us. I'm just going to upgrade this to try and get rid of all this waste product as quickly as we can. But now we're starting to really strip this uh, this area. And not get engaged in a fight. So as, it, as I said before, we'll get our workers, you know, grabbing it, gathering in different areas. Control group one. But this, this seemed to be the primary for this run, is like, I actually didn't run into too many threats that I've really required to jump straight to the the blue ants. Um, we haven't bumped into a, a full-grown mantis just yet. And those are the enemies that I said could spawn in a, in a random location and just shut off access to areas for us. Uh, but also shut off access to areas for our enemies. But yeah. There we go. Alright, cool got ourselves some beautiful stuff so now we're going to dig out a nice little area and we're going to start putting in the blue ant uh, majors ant majors that these ones are called let's not fuck it let's go with it so now we're looking at what 42 uh, media slash red marked ants and then we're going to start gathering ourselves some big boys move that group over because everything seems to be going swimmingly in the nest let's gather some more grub just keep going the leaf cutters have raised this is their what first I mean, like, major uh, ant its swollen head is filled with muscle to power its crushing jaws Few stand against it in combat and escape unscathed. This champion warrior will make a fine addition to the colony. We take what fifteen food at a time, which is beautiful. Leaf cutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus Bowery trap the jaws roam the clearing. The size of it. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. As you can see, we managed to avoid most of the enemies in the nest, apart from earlier where I upset one, but it uh, wasn't a big deal to deal with. Although it did slow us down, uh, mainly because I didn't realize. But yeah. We're, uh, we're doing good. Now we're starting to gather at kind of the same pace as the uh, ants. And as you can see, as the other ant colony. And as you can see on the mini map to the right, they're starting to gather from those two major areas, which they get like a shit ton of food from. It's really frustrating. Uh, what it is, what it is. But we are denying this area. We are grabbing from this area. And because they're not uh, pushing this way, we're. Uh, we're, you know, we're quite open to gather at this moment in time without issue. And again, this is what I'm saying, the, the, the sort of RNG approach. We're actually quite lucky on this run that we haven't had to fight this area. As you see me doing the circle there. Oh, 
look at them. And these major ants, I think they grab like, I think it's like 20 food or 25. They gather a lot. Get ourselves in here with a load of... Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate oh, end. Man. Nothing we can do. Still at this strength, there's really nothing we can do to push. We could, like, maybe irritate them and push them away for a few seconds. But at this point in time, I feel like it's just too much, just too much time. Look at the state of this. Yeah, just beavering away and clearing out that area. So I think I, I was like thinking, oh, I could be cheeky. The battle has begun. Try and move over. Look, they got like 700, 500, 1200 food. But you can't run through that little. The ants don't seem to want to run through that little side gap. I think one or two might, but in general they don't. So we scared the harvestmen away. Not a bother. You know, that ant on its own could take two of those enemies. Yeah, you can't Predators just run around that top there. They won't let you. The larvae Everyone must goes. be protected. And of course, the Paracanthus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. So we're getting more invasions. Which is just, you know, swimming. Just what we like. A fully developed velvet worm measuring really a titanic seven centimeters in length has come face to face with the ants. That. Only That's a coordinated multi pronged there's effort the by the soldiers will be effective in subduing really this irritating. mammoth predator. But yeah, there's the seven foot one who's currently running around eating all of our workers. So we're like, right, we need to move the workers away. So I figured, right, we might as well just go left um, and try and grab this. All this food up here uh yeah again just simply because we have to we just have to keep gathering we can't sit around and wait for everything and if necessary because we've made the two groups of um uh red ants uh well, sorry red gatherer media ants we're um able just to uh look at this look at this fight you like climb on his body and attack his tail there you go got him Everyone's moving so slow. <laughs> so no bitch gather. There you go. There's a stomach down there that's fighting us. That looks like a cricket. Yep, that's a cricket. Good boy. Look how much food we gather in just one bow. So many. So that 500 suddenly became, what, 46 in one wave. So basically like 500 gathered in one bow. That's what we have to do. So the AI is currently pulling away, and that's because they're harvesting over here on the right side. Now, interestingly, this is when I decided to call, right, we need to get up here and start disrupting this shit. Uh, and start being a pain in the arse. Now, because we've just cleared basically all the enemies from up here, we can get the little workers just chipping away. And uh, this is when we start needing to build the, uh, the big boys and get more of them ready for this fight because they are just uber tanks. And we have to go through a few the enemies but nothing begun. we can't handle. Look at that, this, this is a fully grown uh, was it bush master cricket or whatever the hell they call it. Love how ants can climb on top of it. Yeah, die. But see, there's really no point in fighting them. It just, it just, apart from clearing the run to supply run, they don't provide any food and they actually cost food to kill. Because there's so fucking many. No, we're just having to like mob hand all of this. Yep, you die. Might as well just kill that one because you know that one's going to come back and irritate us. So now we're doing asset denial again. I'm like, right, we're going to gather all of this food here because that's 3,000 food. Which would just go straight to our opponent. And if they gather it, you know, currently on 10 grand. That's it. Pretty much call it game there. So as you see me move. You know, some red ants over, and uh, I forgot to enable combat, which is why I just ran past him. <laughs> so there you go. Combat enabled. Uh, this, uh, 
And then we do food gather here. So we just need to... Right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 11.06. Let's see how fast it goes down. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. 350, basically. In one go. Awesome. Yeah, just some annoying... Just, just annoyances, nuisances, irritants. Just everywhere. You know, we've run out of uh, leaves to gather. But this has given us time to uh, get rid of rubbish as well. Down to 500. Alright. Uh, I'm constantly up here now keeping an eye because as soon as they come back, as you can see, the ants have now moved over to the left side on the minimap to gather from the west, uh, which takes them a lot longer to get it. So this is where I started thinking, oh, you know, we might be in with a chance here, but we need to be quick and efficient with our movements um, and get gathering quickly as possible. Oh, look at all that leaves coming in. Lovely. Give me the food. The ants must fight. Yeah, going this side early is just not viable, basically. These things are fucking annoying. Just constantly getting in the way, these uh, bullet ants. Maybe they'll be in the next next update, bullet ants, then as they've introduced them as enemies. Uh, maybe we get them as... Uh, Thing. So they're being obviously bothered by the mobs up there, which is great, but they won't last long. So we're aiming to get ourselves a full stack of the blue ones and then move on to the reds, but I'm also thinking now at this point, you know, maybe we just build more red ants together because they're cheaper, just gather more food quicker. As uh, you can see, they're coming back, returning to, uh, to gather their food. Where we start, uh, gonna turn into a fight now. No, turn the food gather off. Get everyone up here. We need to start fighting these guys off. The so what happens? We fight them. The of they'll the retreat, nest. and then they come back with a fucking strike force to come and get you. And uh, yeah, there's quite a lot as well. As the sun right. rises over the treetops above, this. the we diurnal jungle time. invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. Yep, so kill a couple more. And they should retreat soon. And see how they're just sending a wave after wave at us. The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this go. time, so but they'll soon be back scrap. and in greater numbers. So this is where we need to like quick, fast gather, fucking hurry. We swapped it over, so. We have obviously more ants gathering, more red, uh, media ants gathering. And now we need to keep our task force here and ready. So now we start jumping on these uh, more media ants. Just, just keep building them. Cannot reiterate this enough. Cannot say it enough. So now I'm scrambling because I'm like, right. We know that they're going to come back with this fucking mega strike force. We need to grab as much of this shit as possible. And get the fuck out of Dodge. But, of course, because we've got no leaves in now, we can't build any more bloody out. Set a uh, little control group three there just to gather that small pocket of food. Now, right, here they come again. A territorial dispute is coming in between the outer well. colonies. Look at the amount that this send at us. Look at that! This is what I mean. It's like you can scare them away, scare their uh, food party away a little bit. 
and then they just send an absolute mob at you. By the rider, the hero chooses. Now I'm just trying to be cheeky and uh, grab this food in front of them. <laughs> so I'm like, right, we'll disable combat, I will just have gather, and then they start mobbing this. So I'm like, right, okay, never mind. A fully grown Shudoxiops periputra leaf mimic praying mantis is grazing amongst the vegetation. Not only is it more dangerous in its final instar, with near-perfect camouflage against the leaves, it is also it is. a master of stealth. So there are lost causes with look at that. But we managed to take a bit of food. And now we've got this other area to come grab. We should do up here. Oh yeah, that Praying Man Mantis is there. We will return up there on the top right. Because the strike force only pretty much, you know, sticks around for a bit and it can only go one way. So you can kind of like just keep splitting and buying time as a uh, massive mob of bullet ants bother us again. There we go. Look at this. Alright, right, we need to be gathering this actually. Scare them off. See on the mini map that big uh, red blob by their their nest is now uh, coming our way for <laughs> disrupting them. Look at the amount of a fucking crazy man. I'm just sort of like, all right, we need to buy a bit of time, but we can't really fight this. The opposing atta colony has retreated from one of its sites to the northwest, leaving unguarded foliage yeah. ripe for the picking. Now I'm looking at like those two 800 stems. As here comes the fucking mob. I'm trying to see if we can't, uh, you know, squirrel in some extra food. But now that they've left the um, top right pocket undefended, hey, we'll go back. Fuck them. They're still not gathering from it. So it's like, right, sweet, we'll just go back over here then. Yeah, they got like one ant guarding it. We can get in and grab pretty much 90% of this food by last time. Fucking bullet ants though. They're just so irritating. Come in little mobs, there's no real way you can avoid them. Yeah, so they're securing that west side again. Right, right, we'll take the top right. So we get a little group gathering down here out of the way. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. We know the mantis is around here somewhere, we just haven't oh, seen it yet. Hiding, lurking. But I don't know about you, but I really like this. Uh, I really like this uh, mission. It's actually quite fun. And as you look at the food that we've got, like clusterfuck over there. As you look at the uh, food that we've got, we are really, really, really close to them. So now I'm starting to get an adrenaline buzz because now I'm starting to feel that like, shit, we could actually do this. We could actually win. So I'm like hurriedly gathering all this food up here and trying to hope hope for hoping sake that we don't get interrupted by anything because we seem to have cleared you know most of the sides so i'm like right you know workers go over here and everybody else come up here everyone is on food gather all the time the ants will fight to the death Not really attacking us, but they're just sort of like passing through on their path, but 
As you can see, it just turns into a fucking full on scrap. So we're 600 behind. And I am desperate. Stuck in. So close. Look at that. 500 apart now. Just like grab it, please. There's no enemies. Please just grab it. Don't alert them. <laughs> We just decided to stop harvesting this location, I think, because it wasn't worth it. There's more food than those other pockets. I think they ate. And so the AR was just like, now, this way's better. So, all right, just build more. Come on. 300 off. The ants will fight to the death. So there comes the mantis. All right, fine. We're just gonna have to deal with it because can't do anything else. But <laughs> we need this food. Look at us killing tons of our ants. But you know, it is what it is. Come on, we're falling behind now. They're only gathering like a minuscule amount. We've got the big numbers up here. Can we do it in time? Like, oh, we could grab this one. No. All right, go grab this shit. <laughs> so I'm like, right, control group two, could come over here and grab this stuff. Get get the areas closer that you know. We've left mainly because the uh, it wasn't worth our time, and the enemies are uh, the hillside atta colonies are grabbing behind. it. With their demise at hand, they have no choice but to strike back at their opponent. So we've just taken the lead right towards the end, and they send an absolute mob of people at us. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm wriggling in my seat. I am jumping up and down. I'm like, come on, look at this red mob come down the centre of the mini-map towards us. Got some fucking crickets getting in the way. Dusk approaches. Now. As the twilight fades, the daytime creatures withdraw to their hidden refuges to wait out the darkness. The ants can afford well, I haven't no noticed such red, luxury. Red mob. I'm the too cogs busy. of the leafcutter machine will grind and there you throughout are. the night. So now I start shitting myself. Look at how many they are. And they're all level threes. Now our ants are respawning, but look, the enemy is just about to overtake us in the top left. We've got 300 food left. Our ants are returning after fighting off the fucking cricket, but uh, obviously they're going to stop and drop and, and fight all this stuff in here. So we've got to get rid of this first. But look how close we are, and I'm like, wait, do we? If I just disable combat and enable food gather, our ants will pick this food up in here. And drop it. But is it enough? It is. It is enough. The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the clearing. As the competition withers, they will extend their territory in all directions, firmly establishing their agricultural empire. One day this colony will number in the millions. Woo! And that is how we won by the skin of our teeth and of course we're taking the royal jelly thank you everybody so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace hello everybody and welcome to empires of the undergrowth my name is sean and today we're doing the 3.2 the front line and we are going to smash it so you want to select stun uh for your big boys because we are playing as the 
leafcutter ant, and we are going to win. This small leafcutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the base of a tree. Their location provides prime access to lucrative harvesting grounds which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. However, unbeknownst to the ants, the peace is about to be broken. A scourge is drawing in. It will be here by morning. Alrighty, so what we're doing to start with, we are just clearing up. Uh, we can fit three in here. Nah. Kill this. The ants have uncovered a heterophrenous Battersea whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. This unnerving arachnid feels its way through the undergrowth with modified antenna-like forelegs. When it finds a target, it snatches forward with enormous pedipalps, impaling its victim on deadly spines. Alrighty, so we need to get ourselves a leaf store, and this is the spot that I've chosen for said leaf store. The ants have Always uncovered a whip spider hiding everything. beneath the leaf litter. It will need to be dealt with before excavations can continue. Alrighty, so on this absolutely lovely... These rove beetle larvae pose a serious threat to the minim workers. They will need to be exterminated quickly. On this absolutely lovely map, we have an enormous... Scorpion. Uh, and it's a whip, is it a whip tail sc scorpion? Something like that. But uh, regardless, uh, he is fucking massive and he's a fucking pain in the ass to kill. Alright, let's get ourselves a rubbish pile built up here. And we need to start by not building ourselves these, by building ourselves these. This out. There are intruders in the yeah, nest. The last of it. Alrighty. So, what we're doing? We're gonna go up here and grab this because he won't come over to us just yet. Right. What we want to do is, right at the start, is build ourselves some workers. Now, the reason why we build ourselves some workers is so that we can get these little minim workers, and we need a lot of them really quickly. Uh, both for processing food and for doing the um, uh, menial tasks of like getting rid of the waste and stuff like that. We also give ourselves more workers. We get more workers, we get more food. So that is why we do these workers first. And storage is full. And storage is full. Leaf storage is full. And storage is full. As you can see, these little buddies go carry it, turn it into the lovely fungus. And our lovely fungus then turns into our actual food that we then create our ants with. Cancel number two over there. So we want to start gathering from over here. Uh, night. Or, sorry, like day one, which is just starting to be, we are going to start coming up here and gathering from this area. But uh, for now, the Shalvate, because there's quite a few enemies up there, and that's looking pretty gnarly. Several I think we had the of the nest, this day. a legion of nomadic Eseton Berkeley army ants are preparing to march. They set up camp late last night and will now conduct daily swarming raids on the surrounding areas until they see fit to move on. This humble leafcutter stronghold will soon lie directly in their path. Terrifying. Um, right, so, again, the reason why we went with workers is so we get a quick, cheap, mega gather load. So we get tons of uh, leaves really quickly, so we get tons of food really quickly. Now, this bar... As you can see, the army ants have arrived. 
They will sweep eastward, swarming everything they find. Larvae-filled ant colonies are particularly ripe for culling. Only a substantial defensive force with the right tools to repel the aggressors will be left alone. The leafcutters must prove to the invaders that they are more trouble than they are worth. Uh, what have I done here? Did I plant something really stupid there? I did. No, I put a worker there for no reason. Uh, right, so we're going to get ourselves our leaf storage up. Uh, if the army ants possible. can be pushed back beyond leafcutter territory, they will likely give this area a wide berth until it's time for them to relocate their nest. Right, now we have an absolute fuck up. So we want to get ourselves up here. We're going to ignore these army ants for now, and I'll show Occasionally, you Occasionally, scouts will head out from the swarm frontier in search of live prey for the horde. If they find anything of significance, they will call for reinforcements. A battalion of soldiers can respond in seconds. Alrighty, and get ourselves up, and we are going to turn off food, gather these guys right now. How are we doing with this shit? Come here, you little eight-legged freak. Fuck off. So we let our workers gather. We're going to use our media workers as mini tanks to get rid of everything up on this plateau. And as soon as this uh, grasshopper, cricket, whatever the hell it is, is gone, we will then flick food back on. Speaking of which, we want a full stack of 19 of these. And then we're going to start building our big boy workers. Now, the aim of this game is quality over quantity. We need... Quality over quantity. Otherwise, we're gonna lose. And even then, there's no guarantee because we're on insane difficulty and I'm dog shit at this game. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we've got random bits of food lying around. That's fine, whatever. Uh, keep grabbing, keep grabbing. The reason why we went with the workers first, not just for this mast, is also to get loads of the little uh, uh, mini ants. Because having more of them allows us to shift this food a lot more quickly, and also shift this waste a lot more efficiently as well. Speaking of which... Uh -huh. Like that. Get a couple of these in. Come on, workers. Good point. So I like to keep the nest, nest group in, they're not particularly crazy. Yeah. Congratulations, you're dead. Go. These stores are full. <gasps> what? No way. Do this. The upgrades. Yeah, so basically we need to keep shifting the shit that's generated by people respawning and uh, nice place of tiles. Uh, at the same time, we need to keep upgrading. We need a fully upgraded waste disposal, fully upgraded leaf storage, and that should do us with the lots of mine team. We have to be very compact with this mission because the it's not necessarily the space, it's just the efficiency of leveling up you guys. I see we've got 200 leaves, which is going to translate to over that once it's been processed. Uh, but thankfully it's jumping up. What I found in the practice runs that I did and didn't do very well in was that at the start, we were just way too slow, which is why building these workers here is so important. Uh, plus you can, you know, they're cheap, they're easy. And uh, they can get you a lot of food quickly, albeit not as many as what these guys can grab you in one go. Yeah, we're looking 250 out of 400. Don't need to worry about you. We will never need to upgrade these. We will never need to upgrade these. What we will do is be basically pouring all our manpower into the major ants. And the reason being, because our major ants are the ones that are going to be taking the fight to the army ants uh, and doing the most damage. We will still be using the media ants for a bit of combat, but it's not uh, massively the priority. Right, one, two, three, and then we can start building the big boys. Uh, see me flicking and jumping around. You have to be 
pretty quick on this mission. Uh, you keep your eyes about you for all the extra enemies. Uh, day by the end of day one, we should have most of this cleared. Uh, I don't mean when the army ants retreat because they retreat at night. I mean when they, um, you know, the night fully sets and this horrible big boy starts climbing up the woodwork. We should have most of this done and chopped down. Uh, and then the day after, we're going to be going up here because this gets crowded really quickly and this then becomes not viable uh, just for the sheer amount of enemies that appear. And to assist us with our level ups, we are going to be using speed tiles just around the outside here. So in, um, well, not on this one, uh, should I say, around here so that we can... Uh, get the level up really quickly right the last one will be going down so, right, beautiful there we go lovely stack up 19 leaf storage is full what this Uh, and we might as well just finish off building the last of that. Like so. Right. Army ants have retreated. Night is falling. Bar's quite high. So night hasn't set yet, but it's getting close. Uh, this big boy shouldn't for this day. Uh, come over here, but he will on later days. I say shouldn't because he has in previous runs, but it's not common. Uh, come on, get ourselves ready. As dusk sets in, here. the army and foraging activity okay. begins to settle. The Aceton forces are reconvening to join a giant bivouac formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. For the Atters, this is the perfect opportunity to stockpile leaves. Oh, he looks terrifying, it's awesome. Yeah. Killing shit? Yeah, we'll kill it, that's fine. So, as the days go on, the enemies, uh, as in the overworld bugs and shit, get a lot more annoying and a lot stronger. Whoa, you just stay there, right, buddy. Just stay right there. Please. Come oh, on, we should be getting most of this. Uh, we're doing, we're looking pretty well. The reason why I put the food storage here is because we can get food like bang in here, bang up here, and then there's a little bit more of a trek to go this way. Uh, what it is, what it is. Uh, let's get you in here. Again, this day we don't particularly need to worry. Our media ants can handle, you know, can even handle that on its own. We uh, don't need to stress too much about the enemies. So these harvester spiders aren't a massive nuisance. You know, might kill a worker ant, but for a meter and a and a big boy, not really happening. Fresh spawned mini ant. Look at this. Oh, I still love this animation. Right. That's been grabbed. So we'll stick our workers over here. Got our big boys alongside them to uh, clear up the bow. Let's give them a little bit of uh, protection. Grab the rest of that, and then we're done. And this plateau cleared, uh, and then, like I say, we wait until the morning when we're going to be starting doing some invading and some fighting. Start pushing these army ants back. So, obviously, this the first wave starts up here. 
and runs all the way up to the top up here. Uh, our second wave starts down here and then goes all the way up again, straight through to the narrow of this area here. Now this is the easiest one to cut off. The third one starts down here, runs all the way up past our fucking land and fucks it up that way. So, right. This way, and this is all clear. So, really, we want to save. Uh, this area. We save this plant for last. We save this up here for a rainy day, really. Uh, which is why I've started moving down here. Because this forest could be quite uh, contentious as well. Kill, 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 kill. Easy pickings. Come on, keep going. But yeah, cleared the first plateau. Next day, going to clear the second plateau. But he is going to start bothering us, so we need to get this done. Well, during the day, really. Uh, let's get ourselves. I know what you. Yeah. We'll go with 19 of these guys again, just before we start doing the upgrades. Because um, the more the merrier. But, uh, like I said, the name of the game here is uh, Quantity. Sorry, Quality over Quantity. Because uh, otherwise we're going to get fucked up. I can't see any other way of doing it. Oh, I can't. I just can't do it. Like, this is by far the easiest and best way to do it. Uh, right. Start with our upgrades again. Let's create this bunch. Let's start on low. Uh, and we'll start upgrading some of this. So that we can get rid of more waste more efficiently. Uh... I'll go like that. Right, so it starts to become light, and you know this because he retreats. We are going to kill him, obviously not right now, but we are going to kill him so that we can access these two plants right here. They are vital. The jungle stirs. The sound of panicked arthropods running from danger can be heard throughout the leaf litter, and the ant birds are circling overhead. The swarm has returned. So they're going into control group three. We've managed to get ourselves nine. The ants must Big fight. Boys, which is great. Uh, we're getting attacked, so I'll send the workers back up here now. Uh -huh, nice try. Alright, three's going in there, two are coming in here to collect, three are on the, uh, the war party, basically. Look at this done, great. Prevents so many problems. So you can't sit and just ambush, like, the little supply line, because there's a bunch of all the level three army ants, which do mega damage to you. So it's coming out of the woodwork. I'll send ones in here too. Um, Alright, control group three. Oh, here you come. Click you over to that. Uh, these boys need to just sit and chill because otherwise they're going to die. Get another one of you going. Alright, our waste is getting rid of nice and quickly. Our food is getting moved nice and quickly. Let's again get a lovely route. Right. Right. Ready? Attack! At the Gui! The Aceton soldier lines are bearing down on ah. the nest. The leaf cutters Shit. are about to be overrun. So, we need to obviously fight him off. Come up here. No, stop fighting him, please. The more we kill, the, uh, Lower down this bar goes. And this is what we're doing right now. We are needing to take the fight to 
this ant because they've come so far across. Let's do that. You workers are getting massacred, so you need to go back to that group. Right, so now it's jumped, they'll retreat. After taking significant losses in their efforts to subdue the leaf cutters, the swarm raiders have been pushed back. The leaf cutters must press on to keep them at bay. Fuck you. Kill these. Go. Oh, tits. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a troop of army and scouts. If any escape, they will call for reinforcements. God damn it. Why do we have to bump into one of these right at the start? Urgh. Annoying. Oh well. Like I say, we've got to clear this plateau. We've fought off that initial wave. We can survive this. We just need to clear this plateau and grab this food. Because, again, soon it will become non-fucking viable for us. Yeah, kill this fucker off. We really need this food. It is crucial for our war effort. We're not doing too bad on uh, getting these boys in there. We need to do another uh, push on these guys shortly. Come on, guys. Get another one of these big boys built. Two's can fend for themselves now. Yep, oh, there we go. Kill another one of these things, whatever it is. The Aceton soldier lines are bearing Here down the nest. The leaf cutters are about to be overrun. Let's go murder these guys again. If you have this back and forth during the day, it, it is what it is. With our 13 big boys, they should be more than enough to take on a couple of these uh, soldiers. If you're struggling, just move your media over like I'm doing now. Uh, we'll drop this nicely. Right, ones are combat off. Get up here, basically. Look at this wave. Wanna fucking go? Let's go, bro. Just drop down significantly now because of this mob that we've just killed. Yep, there you go. So they'll retreat. The leaf cutters are causing problems for the army ants, and yeah, the swarm yeah. frontier is beginning to recede. The reason why the stun's important is so that we can handle the high damage output of these army ants. So if we can stun them, we can obviously prevent that from happening. We uh, we really need to get this done because the, the army ants are now retreating. And we really need to get this done. Well, we need to get all these. We need a bigger stockpile. So the reason why we're doing these first, not just because of this, another reason why we're doing this first is because when big boy, matey boy here comes and sits right in front of our fucking nest, we can still get to up here and down here without him being triggered and attacking us. That's why we're doing it the way we're doing it. Come on. 50, lovely. Right, so now we've got our 19. We can start doing some upgrades. Lovely, lovely job there. Yep, good. I need the last of this.
It's got the arrow. Surely. Yep. Cool. Uh, not that. Ones go there. Threes go here. Got all this. In fact, threes go here. Just can't redirect and grab this shit. Start our upgrades. So, the level threes big boys, although they're ridiculously expensive, uh, you know, at 450 food a pop, um, they are just, well, they're just incredibly uh, useful. Um, they're high health and high damage basically means that they just don't As daylight fades, the army ferries the last of the day's spoils back to the bivouac for the evening feast. They will return at first light. Right, so see what I mean about sitting right outside our front one? Right, threes are now going down here. Ones can still stay up here because they shouldn't really be bothered. In fact, I'm going to do it this way. The ants must defend themselves. Turn combat on for ones. So normally you'll sit here, there, or over here. Uh, but we can still walk past him without uh, actually him getting wicked. Uh... Yeah, this is it. This is the max amount of ants uh, that we really need to do this job. Although I do, if we fully upgrade it and still have loads of food left over, we'll just build more of these. But um, yeah. Look at him. Oh. It looks so terrifying, but so cool at the same time. That one grabbed. Go ahead, grab the rest of this. So we use a speed tile like so, like so, close this off. Uh, with the way that the rubbish is going, we are going to upgrade all of this. The quicker to clear it, the better. Oh, look at this. See? Even though he's like, right there, he doesn't. He doesn't get mad at us, even though we're literally walking over his leg, or under his leg, whichever. He doesn't get mad. But if we were to try and cut across here, he would. Uh, anyway, day two, we are going to be really... Well, day three, technically, is it? Uh, we're going to really be taking the fight to... Uh, the guys. Uh, we basically wait for these to get all to level three before we take him on. Once we take him on, it pretty much just frees the space up. Um, we can get these, but we have to kill him off first before we can do that. And also we can sneak up here kind of early in the morning. As soon as he leaves, you can run up, grab, grab. So if you're desperate for food, you can do it that way as well. Although we have a nice little uh, section right here. Right, three, that's all good. He's not fully retreated. So we're going to put our threes up here. We'll do up here. Up, up, upgrade. That. You want to prioritize the level three upgrades first now. So that you can start getting the um, the high, not just the high hitting, but also the um, high health bad boys. Who's going there? Yeah. Sixteen left. One, six left. So you just want to keep chugging your. Um, Chugging your upgrades and chugging in with the food. Like I say, we're off to a good start in terms of 
But look, see how busy this gets? And it starts getting this way during the day as well. So it's getting fucking ridiculous. Also, the smaller whiptail scorpions... That's what they're called, whiptail scorpions. The smaller whiptail scorpions will fight him and will fight each other and will fight other mobs. They're, uh, they're kind of a dick to each other. Which is pretty funny, if you ask me. Alright. Uh, I'll grab this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't need to upgrade you. Not really. The reason why I'm upgrading it so not only can we get rid of this rubbish quicker, uh, you can also store more on the tile. And by storing more on the tile, uh, the minims workers will, uh, will shift everything so much quicker, making life so much easier. And once again, your workers being stepped on this tile basically makes them diseased and they die off. Right. So he's he's moved down here. This is when you can take the opportunity to come up here and grab stuff. But you have to wait until all of this gets cleared out. So threes are coming here. Twos are coming here. In fact, we're going to make you all one person. Free reign of the harvesting grounds is about to be cut short. The swarm has mobilized. Upgrades. Boop, boop. The ants must fight. Like that. Got three more. So how many we got now? We got five level threes. Eight, six, and five. That's looking pretty nice. You can see how quick we're shifting this food up. We love it. That is what we're talking about. Now. Right. State. Aim of the game. Quality over quantity. Now we need to fight this wave off, which we will be more than capable of doing. With our hard hitting boys. Let's go murder all this off. Hello, you piece of shit. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Kill, kill, kill. Lovely. Drive all the shit back. So we'll jump back now. There you go. So jump. And move everybody over here. You guys are just gonna continue to kill the rest of this stuff. Good. Pushing eastwards is proving to be inefficient for the swarm. They will fan out in other directions. Yeah. And we get our in mob up here and that all this stuff. The these guys will help you, but they also become a source of food for the army ants. So it's a bit of a double-edged sword. They'll help bring this down, but at the same time they'll help push it up. Cool. Lovely. So you wanna avoid like massive engagement, but at the same time it is quite important to keep this number going down. Alright. Uh, what's going on with my ones? You're just getting annihilated. Uh, and throw you back into here. You're absolutely How's that two's looking? I can't match with wrecking that. It was up here earlier. But yeah, level threes, baby. I mean, do this all day. Like, no. And so to that end, our wands are now being hit and picked. Come up here. Go up there. We'll stay pissed. And our twos with our big fighty fighty boys. We just keep chipping our way down. They naturally, they naturally kind of do it. They naturally kind of just come down on their own because where the enemy's coming from, they just bunny hop from one to the other. But yeah, I mean, we kill a lot of shit off. No problem. Look at that. Look at that sail down. Oof. And then you basically just sit them here and kill off Ant at the entrance. Dead. Oh, 
Oh. Alright, we cleared that out. An army and scouting party has spotted the leaf cutters. Yep. They must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. So if they report back, just a group appears like right where you were last seen, essentially. Um it's not like too crazy. Up here, like this. Um But yeah, so we're just sat murdering off all of that. Nice and comfortably. An army and scout has reported recent leaf cutter movements back to the swarm. Enemy reinforcements are inbound. Steve can't come back up here as a mob. Kill all this off now. Like I said, they come to your last known position, uh, which I think is pretty cool and very fair. They don't just bum rush your capital. And kill all this off, which is still count towards our little score here. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a scout. If it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. These guys on that uh, just massacre stuff. Something my boys back over. Uh -huh. so yeah, what you want to stop is basically this. They harvest the food. You want to stop them harvesting food because if they harvest the food, uh, they kill your ass. All right. Um, if they harvest the food, this goes all the way up. And then when it gets to the far end, defeat. Defeat will be had. Three, two, one. Should get up there and gather that. Right, up here is nice and clear. Probably three to put that. For now. Two, just come up here. Put that down here. Yeah, we need to get more leaves. Just, uh, this ain't going up, and it's only going to go down. This is why we're using these to also gather, because uh, once you get 19 with the upgrades, you pretty much just clear most of this by yourself. Um, uh, let's go with you as an upgrade, because you're level 3. So upon this happening, any ants that were on guard or whatever will retreat. Uh, yeah. So to that end, we are going up here now. Because the ants have retreated, this gives us a uh, prime opportunity to come up here, try and grab some more of this uh, this food. Which we are doing hard now, and we'll be doing really hard as well. Get ones over here. Control group three to finish the rest of this off. Oh, look at the size of it. Drop all this food. <laughs> uh, dead. Thank you very much. This is ours. I reckon we can get another good run in before he appears. If we can't, oh well, I made a mistake. Right, let's go with you. And you and oh, we need speedy tile down the back here. Now we'll speedy tile at the top here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. going to start moving shortly, so we'll call this guy the last one. What the we do, day is yeah. nearly over. So what we do, we turn the army retreats, off. and a relative tranquility sets in across the rainforest floor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Once he's up here, that's it. Yeah, alright. The yeah. battle has begun. Cancel our movements. With combat obviously disabled. And we should... Should... Be able to run past him without dying too bad. Right, these guys are getting killed off as well. So you guys got to go sit there. Oh, 
just decided to leave us alone, somehow. Uh, we're quite fortunate here. So if he moves across, uh, we'll lose these for sure. But currently he's decided to stay here. And luckily nothing follows us into the nest. Uh, yeah, that was a good food run. Look at what we're up to. And with no waste. Not really. Um, right. Upgrades, we can upgrade into... Uh, for now. Alright. Uh, you become control group 3, you become control group 1, and control group 2. Stick them in as well. Like I say, we can come up here un unimpeded. It's not, uh, it's not an issue. The ants must fight. Yeah. We have. So yeah, as soon as morning comes, uh, we're going to nip up here and grab this before the ants arrive. Just give us an extra little uh, injection of food to uh, start the day. The soundtrack is beautiful. So good. Right. That's this done. Any other food is now not worth it, so we stick ourselves in here. And yeah, we basically just sit and wait now. So I will see you in a moment. I'm going to keep recording just in case anything goes wrong, but I will more than likely see you in a moment. Oh, so look at this island. Look what happens to it now. It turns into fucking clusterfuck mode up here. We're fighting. He's just chilling there. The reason why we can't go up here at night is because if you grab it, the ants actually don't run back this way, which is way more... Well, which is the smart way of doing it. What they'll do, they'll come back this way by running through him and you just take a shit ton of losses for absolutely no reason so uh, yeah don't do it gave us plenty of time together at night but we already got it all so we don't really need it the waste is getting disposed of nice and quickly so we don't need to worry about that and it's fully upgraded finish upgrading them too eh? and then we only need to upgrade couple more, we have a full stack of level 3 and big bad boys. Curiously, how many are we up to? Okay. So realistically we need what? 9. 9 times 150. So 1350 food. Okay. To fully upgrade. The rest of this shit. Dawn has broken and the night critters run for cover. The army ants are on the march. So this is why we don't go. I nearly forgot. We nearly fucking screwed ourselves over. This is why we don't go, because all the people leave this and come up here. And uh, in doing so, it become a major pain in the ass for us. Right. What we're going to do is twos are going to grab this. Twos and ones are going to grab this. Threes are going to wait up here. Because we punched them down so low at the minute. We'll leave twos on combat because obviously they'll need to be able to fend for themselves against little shit things like this. But, uh, yeah, threes need to come down here. Really. Because otherwise we're going to get attacked. Punch time. Going for a fight. Look at that lovely. Two for two. Oh, shit. I didn't realize you come back. 
going on. Your combat definitely should be on. Now we're looking threes. Looking good. Do we need to come up here and deal with any of this? Not really. You know, it's like a few losses, but it's kind of like, whatever. Right. Oh, spider. Get out of my face. But yeah, you can basically, like, once you've got this section, you can pretty much just keep grabbing food. You just need to guard this corridor here. Obviously that bit up there. But, uh, relatively ain't too difficult. Look, these guys are just dealing shit on that. I need us for anything. Get them all moving down here, we'll kill this. See if we can't push them all the way back to here. Get an early head start on this uh, fight back. Might be able to do it quicker than I uh, anticipated. Ooh, uh, yeah, this stun's so good because that level 3 amp can't attack us now. Deal that high damage output, which we know they've got. They fuck us up. Otherwise. Okay. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a troop of army and scouts. If any escape, they will call for reinforcements. Now that we've dealt with all this, we're going to move our bodies over to here. Oh, boys, what are we doing? An enemy scouting party has alerted the swarm to the presence of the no, leaf cutters. Uh, uh, in we go. Oh. Supposed to take food off. We're not supposed to be eating. How are we doing up here? Looking good. Ah, meteor answer for me. Oh, look, I mean, we've got some friends. That worked out quite well. Go. Go, go, go. An army and scouting party has spotted the leaf cutters. So when this goes grey and they all start retreating, the we'll grab food from here because you want to get it from the furthest place, especially if our ants just here. It saves us uh, resources elsewhere, like up here, for example. But yeah, so far so freaking good. I mean, guys, just not bothered. Look at this, kill our way through. Yeah, level threes. Level fucking three. The Atta soldiers managed to prevent the army and scouts from returning to the swarm. Another one. Come on, guys. Why are you moving so slow? What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Just keep moving our way down. Look at this. We are going to win. Have been Might not do it today, but we'll do it the uh, if any escape, next day. They will call for reinforcements. Yeah, this is a long ass mission. I'm not going to lie. It is a very long mission. Now we just get our boys in the middle here. Oh, no, we don't need to do I'm just out of order. An enemy scouting troop has been overwhelmed by the Atta soldiers. Oh. Look at this. Mm. We'll let our ones continue. We're actually going to move our twos over to here now. Maybe we could do it this way, considering we're the beast. Um, we'll get our ones to do the same, because like I said, we can always come back to this. See how it's gone grey? Right, because it's gone grey, our threes will come up here as well. And we're just going to enable food gather in a moment. Gathering all this food. There we go, lovely threes, enable food gather. We'll only get one run with this, but um, tonight we're going to kill him, grab this food, and then fight off the rest of these bastards. 
that's going good. Twos and ones. Reshift to the lesser place. Uh, threes. Don't know if we get another one out of them, but we'll mark them up anyway. As soon as it starts getting really dark, we basically just yeah, we just cancel the markers and let everybody stay in their place. Uh... In car economy, though, we're we're just winning, just crushing it. There we go. We'll level that one up. Yeah, I think we might be able to get this like run. It'll be close. Couldn't get fine. I'll cancel the one marker for now. Mm, don't like that, it's going quiet. Two markers cancelled. Last one. Right, three markers now cancelled. Grab and go, boys, grab and go. Yeah, see, because now it starts moving. So we the army is returning to camp. Damn. And once again, the knightly truce uh, is founded. Turn combat off, we might be able to run past him. Oh, because he's moving away. Yeah, no, 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 come down here, come down here. Yes. We might get away with it. Just keep running, just ignore them, just keep running. Don't worry about the losses. You're dead. You're fucking well dead. There's no way you're not dead. Yeah, just keep running. Hmm. That actually worked out quite well. Bye bye. Oh, uh, yeah, he was very dead. Oh, look at that. 800. Oh. Rolling in the money. One, two, three. There we go. Right, spent all that. That's a lot of level 3s complete, and by the end of the next morning, we should be able to quick crush the army ants and win. So I will see you uh, when the morning comes, because we are just going to hide underground. There's no need to go out. We have nowhere else we can go and grab food. So yeah, basically it just turns into sit underground and save your, save your resources. Our big boy has just sat right outside our fucking house. He knows. Oh yeah, I said we were going to kill him, didn't I? So, let's do it. Turn combat on. Do it this way. So, we gather everyone outside first. Right, ready? Go. Yeah. Hey, fuck. There we go. A fully grown whip spider has detected the presence of the leaf cutters. With supreme prowess, this gargantuan night hunter can knock back, swipe, and lance even the toughest major soldiers. A considerable sustained flow of resistance must be called upon for the colony to stand any chance of dissuading this legend of the undergrowth. Look at this climb on his back. Kill him. Oh, One of the foraging half. trails has drawn the attention of a whip spider. Mm -hmm. The ants must defend themselves. Yeah. All right, him being there is quite annoying. So that's not helping us. So uh, we should have this in the bag. We lost quite a bit of food, but nothing crazy. Here we go. The whip spider has fallen. The colony sacrificed many brave soldiers to pacify this beast. The queen will now work quickly to spawn the replacements. So, yeah. We took some losses. But, we now have this to grab. So, that and we'll do it. We'll just move. Okay, we should just be able to kill our way through most of this stuff anyway, so... Does it even matter? Right, 
they want it, they can have it. But yeah. Cool. Kill. I'm gonna just look how quickly we just kill shit now. I mean, even this little whip spider, like, you did. Done. Thank you very much. Getting grab ourselves this food. Turn combat off now. We'll have ourselves marked up for back in here. We'll just do the one run with the, the food gather. We'll just get our way past this shit. Just avoid it. Don't pay any attention to it. Not going to do much to you anyway, especially these two things. This might, but it's not a full grown one, so don't have to worry about it. Look at this hill. It's turned into fucking bug city. Oh my god, and this. That's why I said we can't, we just can't do this on later levels. It's too hard. Oh. There you go. Once again, the swarm oh. raiders return, and the battered soldiers of the outer ranks stand to meet them. Right. Um. Yeah, so patrol group one and two can go there. Patrol group three. Do like so. Uh, turn combat on for you. Do that. Easy. Yeah, I just want to grab a bit more food so that we have the recovery because currently uh, we're a little bit light after killing off the big boy. But it, you know, we sacrificed what 300 food to gain 1300 food. So it's all worth it. We'll take food off for the big boys. Because my priority is slaying some shit. Because uh, we want to kill stuff before uh, it's too carried away. Oh, fuck you. See if we can kill it. Move them to that one cancel your marker, two cancel your marker. Uh, we don't want to deal with this. For fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. No, we want to kill all this stuff, so that's what we're doing. Sod it. Fuck it. Mantis will get it in a second. Yeah, look, there we go. Alright, got rid of the fucking thing. How annoying was that shit? There it is. I'm quickly ripping through them now. Stuff here now. There you go, man. We just mob everything there now until this goes to zero. Uh, looking mighty good. Two your combat is on. Don't know why it was off. Oh, maybe get past the mantis. Last all over two seconds. Yeah, you just kill them as they appear. No different than when you're underground and they start popping in. Just sit here. We can't see shit yet. Alright, right now. Regardless, uh, we have pretty much a uh, one this. Ooh. 
An army ant scouting party has spotted the leaf cutters. They must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. I'm about to breeze back up here. Give the ants a chance to uh, get us some of forces. Yeah, go on, buddy. Kill all that. Yeah, easy. Right, I think we kill this group and that's it, we win. Should be. In the far off. Yeah, kill this group and we win. Me, you fucked. We win with the twos in. Uh, is that it? Come on. Got me it. Against impossible odds, the soldiers of the Atta stronghold met the tyrannical intruders with ferocious defiance time and time again. Unable to break their lines and after tremendous losses, the army ant swarm has finally elected to move on. For the leafcutters, the ultimate trial is over. Boom, and that's how we fucking do it. Uh, I don't know if we need the royal jelly. I think we need the food. To be honest with you. Ah, we'll stick true to form. We'll keep taking the jelly. But yeah, that is how we do that. Quality over quantity. Get them level threes. They are fucking incredible. But yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The and I'll see you in the next one. Interesting new behaviors. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean and today we are doing Former Carry On Challenge 3. So, you have to do a bit of prep work for this one. Um, I've made, as you can see, a good amount of the mages just because they're you know, tankier and better than the black ants. We did have some black ants that I'd, I'd put um, down initially before I realised that I could probably just go with these. But yeah, I figured we'd keep them in there. And then, of course, we've gone with uh, a whole bunch of our wood ants just to give us that range and the uh, more powerful damage. Uh, we've also shoved some workers in just because they're um, uh, going to allow us to gain our eggs back quickly as and when we lose ants. And we've got a shit ton of food. Now, these two missions here, they don't actually give you enough food to buy enough ants or do enough upgrades, especially with the majors. Uh, and complete the challenge. So, yeah. Uh, you basically, all I've done is quickly nip through a run of like all of these with like challenge mode on on medium uh, just to gather the necessary food um, because it's a fucking pain in the ass. And you, I tried the mission and you definitely can't do it with those uh, level one. Level two workers because we just get absolutely uh, level one, level two warrior ants because we just get absolutely smashed. Um, upgrades, right? Uh, black ant, you've got your meat wall, your self preservation. Wood ant, we went with corrosive because it's just beautiful and crippling, uh, which is going to help us when you know these guys, these guys are hitting the other ants. For our majors, we went shockproof. We can't take more than twenty damage in a single attack and sharp because you know. We're reflecting a third of the damage back to the enemy. Wonderful. And of course, with Queen, we've got Royal Guard and Fierce Mother. Now, we did have a bunch of Royal Jelly left, so I just piled, piled it into uh, the Mages and stuck a few into the Wood Ants, what was left into the Wood Ants. But, um, yeah, that's the setup we've done. And also, we've just got a big stockpile of food. Uh, a little bit too much. I think we only needed about... 2,000 food, really, but, uh, yeah, it went a bit crazy. Right, we do not want to do that on medium, we want to in sun. Time to play. All right. I'm afraid we've ran out of time. It doesn't matter if the nest isn't perfect. Run the experiment, then clear out the specimens and bleach the equipment. Yes, yes, I know. I'm doing it. And when you are finished here, I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Starting the experiment. Good. Let me know when you have a result. Hmm. Okay, my little ants. This is it. 
the winner will have the privilege of joining me for the ultimate test, the real final experiment. The loser will be relegated to the waste disposal. Creepy. There you go, then. The former carriums are connected. Let the war commence! Right. So let's get ourselves over here. Okay, so what we can't do, we cannot place markers back in here to hide away. Uh, if we do that, he just starts sending waves of enemies at us. So it's pretty much just a, a run and gun. Just get in and smash him in a one if possible. Uh, I haven't got much further than... I haven't even got into the nest on my previous attempts, but I do know that retreating back into the nest is not a good idea. The Areptus finally meets. Interesting combinations. I wonder which is more effective. Okay, so so far so good. We got to get in. Oh, I got a little wave. Our Areptus are beating back the counterparts. Victory seems within their grasp. Oh my giddy But what's this? Could it be the almighty hand of? God! <laughs> Where is he? Ah, see. Mistake. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> Come on. Oh, they got fucking warrior ants and everything. So prick, stop stamping on the fucking ants. Fucking bastard. Alright, but so far, our shield wall seems to be holding. With our big boys in. And because of this aura, we're really not getting punched by these army ants. It's too bad. This is why we went with loads of the big boys. Because they're assisting bees and themselves, I believe, with the buff. Oof. Maybe we should have gone with the mortar ones. Maybe mortars would have been a, a better a better choice. Because we could, oh, we could just bombard so much of this. Look, we're slowly doing it. Yeah, I've never really got this far. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you. But yeah, you basically just need to almost over-prepare uh, like we have done. Right. Yeah, that's starting to slow down now. Yeah, cool. Yep, so we pretty much won this. I think. As look how quick we're massacring all this. All these big numbers here. This is all empty. And they've run out of food. I like I like how they made it like me, right by the door. Just show it there. Look at this. Yes, good, yes. Ooh. Oh no! Look at everything. No shit! Oh, I should have knew it'd be some bullshit like this. Now we get these mega waves coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. A fucking army ant. Fucking. Well, these are the bullet ants, aren't they? Black ant or erectors. Oh dear god. Well, I think we're doing it though. There we go. I wish some bullshit like that would happen. <laughs> Perfect! I knew my erectors would prevail. Now we can prepare for the real. Have you finished yet? Uh, yes. Uh, our Reptors have dominated the Forbicarium. Wonderful. I expect a full report by the end of the week. For now, you can start by clearing away. Make sure anything contaminated with that jelly goes straight to the incinerator. Yes, yes, very good. And that is that. Thank you very much. Yeah, try and click continue. See, it's been dropped. Ah, jelly to the incinerator. The jelly is for my ants, and no one is going to take it away from you. Hmm. He's just so creepy. I'll grab all this food, so we can toss. Our colony does need to exercise. Everybody's just slowly making their way back for something, for some reason. Alright. Uh, we've exited. I believe this... Is he going to take this away? No. Uh, 
Oh, we can't go back in to that nest. Okay, cool. I wondered if we could go back in and grab some more food from inside that nest, but uh, clearly not. Uh, right. So, that is beautiful. That is that. Alrighty, we're back. That took a while. Look at this absolute crammed in here. <laughs> Just all around the creed, like, hug me! Right, let's get this on. We have... Short-sighted, simple, churlish fools. They don't understand. None of them understand. The experiment must proceed. There isn't much time. Quickly, my Raptors, into the terrarium. You'll be safe here. Okay, a beautiful mild royal jelly. Thank you. Corny rehouse underway. Is it done? Yes, yes. Look. Gone. I see. Well, good. It's about time. Anyway, I'm going to need you to make yourself available this afternoon. Apparently, a large quantity of unrefined jelly has gone missing from the overflow vessel, and Supply wants to speak with the whole group about proper checkout procedures. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? What? No! What would I want with unrefined jelly? Well, quite. What would I want, indeed? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the surface. What have we got out here? Dig, 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 dig. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we're going to end this here. Because uh, this looks really fucking cool. And... Yeah, we shall see what we uh, what we have in store for us with these next missions. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello everybody, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean, and today we're doing 4.1 Cold Blooded. As you can see, uh, I've had more than a few attempts on uh, this one, and then I've got kind of like my testing colony as well to stop us building up so much food uh although maybe i should just have kept it on it was just in case i accidentally beat it but we're close we're really really close so obviously we're doing it on insane we're gonna go vigorous on the fire ants and we're gonna try and smash it this time around we're so close it's unbelievable right first things first Think this so. Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may okay. be far from her native habitat, but the Fire Ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an right, army quickly to compete with the local predators. Go away. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north, an American bullfrog. Oh, good, this good, good, good. large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage Please and in the path of many wandering Just insects and there. smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. All Eventually, right. she will need to be displaced. But for now, the fire ants fine. have more this pressing business us, to attend it's to. Fine. As long as the so the, so we got aphids here, right? And we need to run over, which is why food and combat's disabled, so we can displace the aphids closer to home, which will be here. Now, this spider's going to kill us, but as long as the aphids aren't right here, uh, we can come back and get them at any point. So, we might get one or two through, The boggy soil surrounding it. the nest is lacking yeah, in nitrogen going. and phosphorus, yeah, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. Okay, to so we managed to get one. This environment, but we can come back and grab this. Supplement this, this, their this mineral diet by trapping and dissolving right. invertebrate prey. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew right. excretions present an so ideal food energy gather, rich food and source for you the back fire into ants. This. Aphids far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home, where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. This is exactly what we're doing right now. Right. Now we need to get ourselves some workers, and then we're going to do... 
a nice little area here for our ants. Do that so I know what I'm doing later because I forget. You have to do this shit real fucking quickly and it is infuriating and it is annoying. But it is what it is. As uh, the great and mighty Yano up there would say. Alright, let's uh, come up. Kill the shit. Give me the food, give me the food, give me the food. Quickly, 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 quickly. A small colony of Fadele Morisi big headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. Okay. I'm gonna go grab this. Uh, these three in here can finish off uh, this. We're gonna go quickly snatch these up. Go, 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 go. Well, everything's disabled. Should be able to grab it. Should be a big issue. Um, if the mobs spawn here, or like where this one sat right now, being really friggin' annoying, uh, there's not a lot you can do. Uh, just restart. Just restart. You need a this. A magnolia green yep. jumping spider, Don't Soman Viridis, Don't care. has ambushed a fire ant. It prefers to really hunt on foliage, where it is less likely to be spotted by predators and prey alike. I mean, come back Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. Okay, we're off to a little bit of a slower start than I would have liked, but it's... Uh, come on. It's okay. Now we'll be up to 10. The next one we're going to grab, aphids, is here, uh, which we might be able to do a quick sneak run for. Right, it's control group 2. I want you here. Yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. Really, you should come from this way. Uh, oh. Oh, set, we're doomed. Okay, no mind. A six spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala ah, sexcutata, is on the move near Fine. the nest. Right. Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. Okay, right, so we've got to start getting our warriors up because. Uh, it's quite random. A lot of this is RNG based on where fucking things go. But it's quite random on whether these guys are going to attack us or not. Now, the thing that I was missing in my main early runs is that you can just right click over here and your ants, I think you need a good amount to cross. But the ants will just build a bridge and you can walk across. I didn't know that. So in the early runs, I was like, oh, well, I just can't get to those. I was waiting for the water to recede like a fucking idiot. Um. We're doing it. We're doing it. Kill. Come on, come back, Tom. The battle has begun. Okay. Thank you. Give us an extra box of food. Pretty much. We're not worried about building up the food store, although I will put another three there. We're not worrying about making the food store massive right now. Uh, we can do that later. We just need to get ants. Just lots of friggin' ants. So what you do, you basically just shove your control group 2 here on no food gather. Have your control group 1 on no combat book gather. And uh, yeah, sit pretty basically. Uh, this is tempting again, but where he sat, I think we're just getting mullered again. So we've got to wait. Oh. Uh, get another one built. Uh, at night, we have toads attacking us. We have all sorts of horrible gribblies attacking us. We're not going to touch that yet. Even though there's only three enemies. Because we will fucking die a horrible death. Uh, you know, I'm getting mighty tempted. I ah, see, now they're moving. We have to sit there. Now they're fighting each other. 
is weird how everything starts playing each other. What's going on up here? Uh, at night, we'll run up here, grab these caterpillars, but you have to basically be enabling and disabling food so that your guys don't jump on the uh, Venus flytrap. Come on, get out of the way. Ugh. This way. Good, go, go. No combat. Go. Just run. Okay. We successfully stole all of that. Lovely. Alright, so that should put us up to 15. Beautiful. And that should be a nice sustainable flow for now. Um, what we'll end up doing is actually taking these guys out. I don't know about these... Uh, uh, big head ants here. They're pretty fucking nails. Uh, but we could definitely take these guys out for a huge amount of food a little bit later. I need to keep my eye on the ball here. Uh... We can probably do this now. The ants have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. Uh, okay, I might have learned this. Uh. The colony is starving. <gasps> there is not enough food to feed the new brood. Shit. The queen is in imminent danger. I blew it. Ah. Uh, well, that was silly of me, wasn't it? Let's see if we can't somehow survive this. I'm not going to quit until we quit. <laughs> okay, you guys should be replanting all of this now. That was bad. Uh, nope to self. Don't do that. Uh, we haven't been uh, invaded yet, basically, so it is quite surprising. Uh, right. Just get this dog. Yeah, that was pretty dumb of me. Uh, not gonna lie. Ooh, we can nip here. Grab these, please. These two would be lovely. That two would be also be lovely. Oh, extra influx right there. Come on, grab that. Ugh. Oh, run, 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 run. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from right. moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. All right, so oddly, we didn't actually get uh, attacked by black ant, so. That's probably the best start I've had so far. All this has been fighting each other. Which is cool. Right, so you just turn food off. Defenseless caterpillars exposed turn it on. on the underside turn it of on. leaves are a welcome See how the snack fly trap for the fire ants. The colony should take advantage while it can. Few meals surrender so willingly. Right. Get ourselves in. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianans, is hunting for insects outside the nest. Mm -hmm. It may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the swamp at night, but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical warfare. Alright, that'll do. 
for that. Get ourselves back. Yep, make sure our combat's off. The ants Bombardier have clashed with a bombardier beetle. Feeling threatened, the good. beetle mixes a cocktail of chemicals that react together, uh, boil, and explode from a valve at the base of its abdomen. Mm, boys. I don't like it when you leave all this shit alone. So, our objective is to kill this big boy. But we have to survive all the other bullshit first, basically. Mm, lovely. Grab, 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 go. Come back. The ants must fight. Alright. Now that we're here, and we've built up enough of a force, we can sit At our night, boys eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for but food. On. Ants make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. All right. Okay, so this time we've got it on half <laughs> Done harvesting. Right. We gotta set ourselves in here, because this toad here will enter the nest because it comes through this pocket. Like so. Uh start well, I should have upgraded there. Questionable. Uh no other toads will come at us at this point of the evening. Uh, but just as morning starts, what we're going to do, let's get rid of this toad, we're going to clear this patch out and this patch out because when the toads get here, they essentially just drag everybody along with them. Uh, and it's a pain in the ass. We just keep our guys here at night. We don't get invaded by these guys or these guys at night. Always random food. Look at this thing. This horrible thing uh, is a fucking pest. This a narrow-mouthed toad has burrowed into the grab. nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Yeah, Secretions wait, wait, from wait, wait, its wait, skin yeah. burn you want to any that damage, buddy? to Go. escape its projectile tongue. Here we go. Because we've got Vigorous, every time we respawn, we basically gain like a massive damage boost, etc. So, it's kind of better to bait your opponent into your nest. And then just deal with them from there. Alright, got that done. I'm gonna dig this out. Uh, where is it? Hang up. No, I don't. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, wait. Uh, in fact, from what I remember, this pocket. Yeah, this pocket's fine. There are intruders oh. in the nest. I'm gonna kill this A off. Fully developed it. checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed by the ants. Mm -hmm. It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws as its juvenile counterpart, but now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. All right, the reason why I'm clearing this out now is because we're not going to have time during the day. Oh, we could return here at night. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Predators are loose in the nest. Quick, go. The larvae must kill. be protected. You should be able to kill all this. Yeah, not an issue. Not a bloody issue. I built this the wrong shape, haven't I? Oh well. Fuck it, is what it is right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. So it's up here. I'm gonna do another little run this way. I think that's worth it. Uh, so we turn combat off. Turn food on, book ourselves. Oh, no. right. go, 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 go. Dawn breaks, yep. and the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. Only the great bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Go. Right, now we're definitely getting attacked today, so real quick. Start our upgrade process. Yep, just ignore it. Okay, one or two are gonna fight it. Fine, whatever. Alright, 
Flick combat on. That was a nice little uh, influx we got right there. Uh, yeah, they're gathering here. The main thing that we're going to get is up here. I'm wondering if we can get it right now, actually. Just before we start getting invaded and assaulted from all corners. Come on. Yep, food off, combat on. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Kill it! A wasp mantid fly, Climachala brunea, has descended from her perch into the path of the ants. Unrelated to true mantids, her spiked nope. raptorial forelegs are a perfect example of convergent evolution. Say, we haven't got enough. Never mind. All right, it's fine. Uh, upgrade, upgrade. I'm not doing this uh, very efficiently here. Here we go. Quick. Quick. Oh, just in time. Great job, guys. The fire ants have encountered a tribe of Monomorium Minimum Black Ants. These tiny little ants may seem feeble, but the Invicta colony would do well to treat them with caution. Although primarily scavengers, they are armed with powerful chemical secretions and have been known on occasion to invade fire ant nests. Yeah, when you say occasion. I say all the bloody time. Uh, upgrade you, upgrade you. It's a shame they didn't quite have enough to... Even in small numbers, the fire ants are menacing. But in large numbers, they are virtually unstoppable. So at tier 3, we get the extra ants. Uh, for those of you that didn't know. Uh, at tier 3 upgrades on our tiles. We get an extra fire ant per per go, basically. So that's the primary one we want to upgrade because you get an extra tier three fire ant for pennies. Uh, what I'm gonna do, or what I need to do, is build a second lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, I understand that's going to be big. Go. Like that. Um, the reason why I'm building a second lot is just for flexibility. Um, the when I... Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the Fire Ant Nest. Alright, this isn't this big of a deal at this stage. Uh, we can handle this for sure. Uh, while we're at it, do we just... While they're doing that, we'll do this. Because if he's going to assault me, that means they're not going to rape this. Uh, I want to combat on for my little workers. Let's get everyone. No, no. There are intruders in the nest. Mm. Go, 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 go. We're going to race through all of this and give ourselves a the ants large must protect the queen. rub for all of these upgrades. Hello. Really? You were that bad? Stay. Mm-hmm. Keep upgrading. Go. Take our hands here if we want. Uh, this is quite a good run. As far as I'm concerned, we're not doing too badly. A uh, few mistakes, always a few mistakes. The colony is always starving. Make mistakes. There's not enough food to feed the yes, new brood. Yes. No, it definitely is. It's up there. All you have to do is go and get it. Right, turn food gather off now. Got that uh, in flukes. Miss, I'm not fighting. Yeah, yeah. He was trying to kill shit. 
So when these guys start invading us, uh, raiding us for our aphids, we, um, here we go. When they start invading us for our aphids, we the basically has begun. need to just uh, concentrate on saving our aphids rather than concentrate on defending the nest. Uh, but what you could do is just kind of flip block in between and just sort of hold a few ants one direction then the other. Uh, but yeah, this is the primary thing that we need to defend. But no, because it will change. My priorities will definitely change. Be a good spot to do. Here we go. See, I'm back now. Yeah, they'll attack you for a bit, and then they'll come back to try and raiding this. Uh, your combat should be off now. Should put a together. Give us those a little more juice. Uh, until we upgrade all of this, we don't need to worry about building the next pile. This is just the future reference, otherwise I'll forget. I'll just build one big blob, which isn't really um, maneuverable. Or as maneuverable as I want. So these little solo ants we can pick off. Looks like these guys are going to start invading us now. We're getting some assistance. Oh no! No, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Run the away. ants have set upon a Run green away. link spider. Puchicha virid. She prefers to hunt on pitcher plants, but out in the open, Just she fuck loses off. her Oh advantage. my god! Far from defenseless, however, when threatened, she can spit venom up to 30 centimeters. Right, now we lose a load of her fucking aphids because of you. A raiding party Good, of little little black shit. ants are stealing aphids. Will you piss they off? must be chased down quickly. Fucking knobhead. Ah, that was so unlucky. Oh, please gather the food. Hmm. Let's start went fucking swimming way. Oh no. Gather this. Can work because it take too long. Do it. God damn it. The uh, neighboring Monomoria Minimum three. Colony has launched an attack on the Fire Ant Nest. Welcome. Clowns. Uh, that was really unlucky timing with that Lynx Spider. That was very unfortunate. Uh, pick that off. Fine. Keep upgrading. Ugh. That was really unfortunate. Uh, we should have enough to come and grab this at night. Now, 33 ants should be able to make a bridge. We might be able to grab up there. We'll grab that back, and we'll probably grab this one as well while we're at it. So, um, we'll run here. Okay, we're not being food, so that. Did the game one back? They didn't. They must have. Yeah. So again, two over here, one over here. Uh, that makes sense. When we uh, kill that colony off, we can just grab that, those aphids. That won't be a big issue. Although by them, might not uh, need the aphids. Uh, upgrades. Before can food stores get full, wolves a bit. Couple food upgrades here because keep getting uh, well, 34 the size of the pile. That 24 by accident. Uh, yeah, we're doing swimmingly. 
Once again, dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. Mm. We're not being attacked by anything else, we've got ourselves ready. Uh, yeah, first port call is definitely to run up here, but first we have to sit here and wait for this to stop attacking us like little knobheads. In fact, what we'll do is start process. Yeah, cool. Right, they've booked it. Good. Uh, food off, combat off, just build the bridge and get over. Fuck you. And then we can do a little run over to here for this grub as well. So yeah, look, we're going to start building a bridge. Little pontoon. By linking themselves together, the it's fire ants so have formed cool. a pontoon out of their own bodies. It stretches from their home territory to a previously unreachable island, giving them access to new sources of food. That should be the last of it. Get back across, get back across. Uh, the toads are arriving, so we will get ourselves in, ready for combat. What we're going to do, dig a bit of an area around the queen here. Find this a bit more open. Uh, uh, uh. No food gather, just go there. Uh, carry on. We're going to activate this uh, in the morning. Kill all of this, kill all of this. Uh, ready for night three. We should be good to go. Go on. We'll do control group three. No combat, no this. There are intruders in the nest. Us. An ant has been devoured by Eurychea quadradicitata, a dwarf no, salamander. Okay. It is nimble, fast, and slender enough to wiggle through tight right. crevices in search of food. Oh, Drew, two, you're on combat, Jobbo. Kill that. That's also the path for him. Yep, you're dead. Nice and easy. Come on, stop fucking around. You lit. Good now. Food. Did we get it? I think we got it. Yes, leaves alone. Name guys. Sit there. Grab that. Right. Uh, as soon as we're here, quickly dig this out for us. Predators are loose in the nest. Beautiful. The larvae must be protected. Yep, come here, you little bastards. Kill. Why'd you come like the that? Ants must I don't like the way you did that. Please activate that nest. We're really doing great. Combat only, not this. Uh, we need a few more workers. Shove them in these gaps here. Might as well. There as well.
Yeah. Right, we might be able to grab this. There are intruders in the nest. Uh, looks like the path is getting. Coast is rather clear. And uh, go. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. Be able to handle all this. Come on. Yep. Easy. Fuck your food, gather group two. The colony is starving. No, it's there not. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. For the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Right, Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Right, we'll set ourselves here. Uh, we're not going to be able to get over there. 22. Will that be enough? Should be. It's not a big gap. No food, gather, combat, on. Yeah. We should just sit here, I think. The thing will come and attack us, wherever it is. No? Yep, there it is. There it is. That's the one. That's what we're after. Go. Ah, oh, quick. Quick, 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 quick. That's it. Good. Get out there, get out there, get out there. Gather this grub while we can. And get ourselves up on the hill. Lovely, that was very successful. Uh, could potentially grab this one as well. Continue to build these out, then we'll finish upgrading these to level 3. I think we can do it, you know. Let's do it. You guys are strong enough. Take the. Uh, well, we've got to put combat on because I think the thing's going to fly over. Hmm. Hmm, yes, problem. Never mind. Never mind. We're not losing all that food for no reason. Disregard. I'll do a cheeky run up here instead. Hmm. Probably not worth it. The fire ants and big headed ants have met in their first skirmish. Sensing the new danger, the Morisi colony responds by awakening ancestral super soldier genes in selected brood, feeding them until their heads are engorged with muscle. Cool. We can turn food, gather off for you now. And we can just hold up here. Like so. Uh. Let's do it again. Come on. I still think we can get it. Upgrade, upgrade. Mm. Collective thing. Go, 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 go. Here it comes. Should be able to kill it now. The battle has yep. begun. Here we go. Yeah, that should bring us up to what, 34? Which means we need a lot more workers than what we currently have. This food's all going to pay for itself in a second anyway. Okay, that's fine, we lost a few. Oh, look at that! <laughs> now we're cooking. So now we can do flexible stuff like this, where we can just run over and grab some of this food and not have to worry about the big -headed ants dying. Have a super soldier cast these two to here can just defend this, while well, these three go around and grab cost extra to the food. Colony. That's why these having champions have been raised for one purpose. To crush the is, fire ants. Uh, really fucking handy. Oh. 
The ants must fight. Just take that, right? Right? Nope. Wrong. Okay. It's all right, we're getting a nice steady flow uh, through here. So the other reason why we're doing it this way as well is when we attack the little ants at the end of this night, I believe, uh, we're going to... Uh, you should not be on food, get up. Right. Um, basically, when we attack at the end of this night, we're going to be able to um, grab all of this, but also uh, defend for our lives over here. All right. This group. I think this group's sufficient for now. This is what we need to be uh, upgrading. And I see. I should have left the gap. But I left the gap. And built it, that would have been the right shape. Until last, level 9. Wait, wait, yep. Please continue to gather the food. That's what's just put threes on food gather at this stage. We need about 50, 60 ants and Probably a full food stockpile, which could dig a bit more out. Let's do a pile bigger. Uh, the next group should yeah, be off and off. Yeah, okay. Looking good. ourselves here. Nice and pretty, nice and easy. We're laughing. I just need to sneak and grab this, but we'll do it when we kill all the shelf, because they're a lot weaker. Whereas I think attacking these boys up here is just a no-go, because they're just so fucking strong. Uh... The neighboring Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. So this is where we can move this group over here to defend. And this group could just sit pretty. Mm. In fact, we might want to swap that around. Uh, uh. Yeah, I might want to swap it around. You again? Oh, fucking kidding me. Actually kidding me. God damn it. Now we lose a ton of stuff for no fucking reason. And we're probably going to lose some aphids as well. Ugh. Control group 3, come here. Control group 2, go here. Quick. Quick. I'm just putting one's combat on just so we can try and yep stop nicking my shit. A raiding Ooh, party yes. of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. They must be stopped. Right. Okay. Still stopping now. These guys of food gather like so. Probably finish the fight here. Probably three off food gather now. Who could deal with all this shit?
Hmm. Could build speed tiles around this. That's what it's gonna have to do. This is a cheap way of doing it. So. I say this is our main battle group. We'll worry about this in a minute. We just need to get this shit done. Uh, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. Alright, twos and threes now go here. Because they've stopped attacking us, they're just raiding us now. Look at this food go up. This is what we're talking about. Swimmingly. Ooh, that's gnarly. Oh, one hit kill most of our ass. Is that some kind of like wasp? Uh, wait. Yeah, now we can. Night approaches, and the predators of the day give way to their nocturnal counterparts. As they encroach on colony territory, battles must be chosen wisely. Spread too thin, the fire ants could find themselves quickly overwhelmed. This thing. Thing's insane, dude. Right. right. The reason why we're here is for all this grub. Because if we don't get this. We're fucking screwed. Alright. Two's go over here. Three's come back to defend just in case. Two's over here. You just stay there, buddy. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, look at this. It's like a fault. Beetle or something. Take your food control off. I'm just grab this in one massive swath. Really got to get it going. Really got to get it going. Food gather on. Food gather off. Food gather on. Food gather off. A curious ant has ventured onto a Venus flytrap in search of nectar. Can't do anything if about it brushes it. against the hairs on the open red tin, here come the toads. They will snap shut, encasing the ant in an ever tightening cell. There is no escape. The prisoner will be slowly digested until nothing more than a husk remains. Nicola is also on the prowl for some Alrighty. prey tonight. It impersonates the true bombardier to ward off potential predators. And its earth. mimicry isn't simply visual. It too can spray defensively from its abdomen. In this case, the fluid of choice is the familiar formic acid. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must Here be protected. All right. They're going to keep gathering. We have a couple of upgrades. Control group three. We crush this. This one here. Control group two. We'll annihilate this one here. Go. The battle has begun. Go. Right. This is the night where everything fucking. Predators are loose in the nest. Bam. The larvae must be protected. Oh, you're dead. Trouble three. Yep, you're dead. The main aim is, is just to get in and surround them. And obviously, you can deal so much more damage so quickly like this. Upgrades going this way. As we can, while we have the chance. There. Here it comes. Predators are loose in the nest. Right. Our larvae must Let's be centralize ourselves. This is the big problem here. Uh, one's come here. Just for the purposes of replanning shit. Ready? Go. If we survive this night, we got it. 
Alright, we've got another two coming. Uh, take off food, gather. Go. Beautiful. Right, that should be that. So then we can do control group three on a food gather. Uh, what's going on out here? Ready then. Uh, we got dig out the food store. Really need the big food store now. So we can hold on to this. This is just going to keep going up. Fine. Flick you back onto this to get gathering. We want all the income sources now. And then. Flash this massive group out. Sort of gone over and gone extra with my points here, but that's okay. Look at this. This is what we're talking about. Uh, how are we doing? Breeze of gathering. Superbly. My bad. Staving off another night of attacks, the Invicta colony once again proves its strength. Despite this victory, there is yet one obstacle that stands in its way. Ever present, the bullfrog looms over the ants. The beast must be defeated. So if we do a third group... Like that. Uh, for now, we're going to put them into this. Three's gather that, get that. Two's get this. Uh, yeah, we're basically going to do a massive assault shortly. Yeah, lovely. Get another speed back. Lovely, 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 lovely. Here, yeah, we upgrade that. We can then upgrade them too. Alright, uh, control group three, grab this stuff. Two's grabbed everything possible. We'll get sit two ready for the assault. We sit three here on a. Wait till they gather the rest of that, shall we? <clears throat> uh, we might put some more workers down uh, for the nest group because this is going to get quite large now, quite chaotic. Uh, I kind of want to save this. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Uh, we're going to go and push in. Um, Yeah, fuck it. Uh, like that. And you will be control group four, and control group four's job will be to hold this spot. Oh my god. Look at this fucking wave coming at us. Kill it with fire, please. <laughs> Alright, we survived this wave. We smashed this. We're doing it. Fuck you. Twos and threes, go the there. The Monomoria Minimum Colony has launched an attack on the fire ant nest. Don't care. We're going to kill everything. No food gather, just murder. Right, come on, buddy. You should be here attacking the fucking enemies as well. Murder, murder, murder. Yeah, we're just going to invade this. 
Mm -hmm. Combat forms. Well, if we lose a bit, we lose a bit. We're going to gain all the food back here, and then we can come back up and nick nick the food. Uh, a the raiding party of big-headed ants are stealing aphids. Yep, they okay. must be stopped. I know, I know, I know. Right, okay. We're just going to ignore this now. You are now with that. You are now on this duty. All right, in we go. The Monomoria Minimum Colony is almost defeated. The Invictor Army must right. press their advantage. And everything. We'll get Control Group 3 back here, because I believe Control Group 2 has this well under control now. Um, so we could try and save some of our aphids. Look, they took a bunch, but we still got, what, 20-something? It's not bad. Yeah. Right, we'll just run over and kill everything in our path to drop this shit back in a sec. Not. There you go. Queen's dead. The little black ants fought to the last to defend their queen. Now the Invicta colony will enjoy the spoils of war. Yep. Defenseless larvae from the vanquished colony will be carried home and fed to the victor's own hungry brood. Yep. Thank you very much. We'll grab all of this. Ball group four. Come here. What? Sorry, what have I done? Uh, no food gather. We'll just sit here, nice and pretty, very much. Right, we'll gather all this as quickly as we can. Grab, 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 grab. So this will all slowly break down, decompose, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but give us all the fucking food. Right, grab all that. Got that. Two go in here. Three up there. How are we looking? Still fine. I know that we have said food options. Like this. The speedy zippy zippy Mikos Fasto style. And I'm going to build a little pocket of workers here. Just to keep our eggs uh, stocked. Right, how are we looking? Gathered all that. Right, grab that then. And we'll be able to grab this, of course. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it this way. This is becoming an issue. Yeah, thank you for the assistance. Oh, I'm making them drop all the aphids. Lovely. Yeah, killed it. A wingless parasitic wasp, Desimutilla occidentalis, more commonly known as the red velvet ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it will defend itself if threatened. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Two, just go like that. Threes are in here. No combat. Should be able to just ignore everything. And food gather. Two stay in there. And fours want to come in here as well. One should be like so. Two's your off food gather. Just on the front. There we go. Food stores for what the fuck? No, no, no. The workers have done all they can to improve these food right. stores. Uh, that's full. This one's going to be full now. Uh, how many workers do we want in pocket? I think we're just doing the worker pocket here. Two, three, four, five, one. Cut that 
off. Uh, can't do that. Uh. Alright, whatever. Come on, guys. Knock it, not rocket science in here. What's going on? that fucking walks past us. Hmm. You wanna go? Or we gonna go. Alright, fours are there. Threes are here. Uh, we still have some aphids, uh, but we are gonna come back over and grab all of that. And, of course, nick the rest of this. And that. And we should be golden then for our food and our army and uh, everything else what needs to go into this. Can't build you here, so I'm just going to do a bit of a unconventional look. Sure, it'll be fine. Okay. Are we looking in here? As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge mm. from moist crevices near the water's edge. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers, or not at all. Five, just come grab the rest of this. Maybe I'll just grab all of that, grab the rest of this. We need to be able to survive this course. Uh, are they coming for us? Doesn't look like they are. So, do. Five, cancel your shit and fight for the of five. Go step here, combat on food off. And two. This is why I have them all in the numbers, it's just for this, this flexibility of combat. Uh, who's gather here? Right, Toad's arrival, okay. Be the last wave of gathering, All right? And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Sorry, uh, one, two, no, one back, one step up here. Alright, still got plenty of uh, aphids. Oh boy, this is a long one. Alright, there come the fucking toads. There are intruders in the nest. Right, you're in here. You're in this group for now. Alright, great all this. Just has those juicy little threes. What we got? Right. Two's kill. Here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must uh, be protected. Four can kill that. Threes come down here. Food gathered from people. Right, fours come over here. Twos come over here. Yep, this is going swimmingly. Go, 
go, go. Alright. Get rid of all the rest of these fucking amphibians now. Lovely. Alright. I should blast this shit get knocked up shortly. Gathers on, upgrade tiles is a go. Upgrade all this shit, right. We're gonna do the nicking of the aphid. Gonna take off the food gather defend themselves only. Yeah. Look at this. Murder our way through all shit. No fucking issue. Uh what we got? What we got? Andrew before, could go there, grab all of this. Alright, we're looking at a couple of hundred ants now. Or a hundred over a hundred ounces, I believe. We are up to one forty. Yeah, we don't care. We're gonna kill our way through all of this. Mhm. Mm Could we attack their base? I don't know. Curious if counter attack will be worth it, but I don't know how much this fucking thing is. I don't think so. Uh, let me upgrade more of these food tiles. So there's a little more breathing room. Uh, work uh, there. There. Oh, fuck it, we'll do it. Send everything at this and see if it works. Because we could do it now. Might as well as have a bit of fun with it, haven't we? Really? Uh, food off, three off. Three food, four off, five off. Go. Stop us clambering into the... Uh, Monkey trees. Two, two, three, four, five. Missed. Once we kill these, we can just inevitably, inevitably, yeah, indefinitely hold off the waves because we're just going to keep gathering food off the aphids. Obviously, there will come a critical juncture, but. Uh, Okay. There's a queen. And we should be able to overwhelm all of this. By sheer weight of numbers, because that is the fire ramp way. Whew. I don't know if it's necessary to beat the uh, thing this way, beat the mission this way. One, two, three, four, five. Ant stores are full, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna get some more ants. The Morisi colony has fallen. 
their champions spent and their queen vanquished. In the end, they could not stand up to the might of the Invicta army. Just one master third harvest now. Yet again. The ants must defend themselves. Look at this. Absolute desolation. But yeah. That's how this snowballs pretty quickly. Um, keep spending. Now we can hold off at night, but I'm not going to. Uh, we'll wait till this becomes level 3. Leave all of this as 3s. So, and then we'll go attack this bullfrog now. We'll have an attempt at attacking this bullfrog. We should gather... I want this food to be full before we do that, obviously. Just to cover any mistakes that I am inevitably going to make. This is a massive drain of food. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. Lovely. Go on, just for the sake of it. Okay, quickly we kill all that shelf. The ants have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. Here we go. Right. Uh, we're gonna turn food off. And we can just consolidate two, three, and four like that. Let's get this bullfrog out of the way now that we've killed off all the competition. Here we are. The fire ants have we only recovered up to half health. On the great American bullfrog, leader bait scatters. Look at this climb up there. The brave frontline soldiers are quickly crushed and eaten. They must surround and swarm the enormous creature to stand any chance of defeating it. Ooh. Got to be sending a constant stream up there. That's why we got this going though. Do pop them into here. Not worry about the uh, upping the food. We'll worry about just getting the eggs back. Keep this flow of aggressives going. You know, if we start running low on food or running low on uh, ants, etc., we'll worry about it. Look at that, 200 ants. Soldiers, mad. Again and again, soldiers clamp onto the bullfrog's leathery skin and inject their synopsis oh! venom, but the beast shows no signs of wavering. The fire ants must maintain Ooh, their uh, We got this in the bag. Look at that. Oh! You see how many swallowed? He's just gulping them down. Oh! <laughs> Let's get on his back. Uh, keep behind him. Ah, uh, never been this far. Woo! Right, amphibian arrival. That sounds fun. Overwhelmed with burning venom, the bullfrog finally succumbs to the might of the fire ants. Utterly spent, it collapses on the hillside, leaving the victors free to consume its body. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah. Unbeknownst to the ants, the presence of the bullfrog was keeping many other local amphibians at bay. The power vacuum it left behind is attracting a host of salamanders and frogs eager to take its place. The ants should go to ground quickly and prepare for the imminent chaos. Alright, so I'd never actually killed that lot off before, that's why I was just trying it. Look at how many. Um, 
we have a good amount of food. Amphibians are going to arrive. It's like the final battle, and then we'd have cleared this entire thing out. So yeah, we just keep everyone in their little battle groups. We have more than enough ants, I do believe. We've got a fuck ton of food, so we can't complain. I'm going to stick them back in this group. But there's so much food. Right, things are arrived. Okay. Uh, first of all. Mm -hmm. Kill it. Murder this wave off. Five invaders. Not, not a problem. Not a problem. Two. Right, they're just staying there. Holding this. This is relatively mundane, I must say. Maybe because we just overpowered ourselves. We just snowballed into this massive mass. Time sick. Probably should, shouldn't have it on, should I? Yeah, we'll turn it off. We'll stop dicking around. Blow it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's control two, that's control three, kill, kill, kill. Mm -hmm. Relatively easy. Keep our workers ticking over. Okay. Now the group turn up here. We'll send uh, number four down. I think that's it. Then that's the last of it. The anarchy above ground settles, and with the invaders crushed, a new order is established. This is now the domain of the Fire Ant. Oh, that was tough. That was a nails mission. <sighs> Just a certain figure. Oh, well, in true me fashion, we're going to take the Royal Jelly, but... Jesus. Let's just click play more and see what we we can deal with. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was pure decimation. Desolation, whatever you want to call it. That was absolutely nails. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome, as you see the dragonfly there, and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. My name is Sean and today we're doing the bridge too far. And uh, we've currently got this dragonfly here, which we're going to kill very soon. Uh, this one's a toughie. Uh, a great blue skimmer, Libelula vibrans, hunts overhead. This fantastic aerial predator shouldn't cause any trouble for the ants. That is, unless it decides to land in their way.
food is abundant, but as the flood water begins to rise, the ants will quickly lose access to the lower lands. Alrighty, so we are currently uh, having a bit of a struggle. <laughs> um, and the reason big is I basically did complete this mission. And now I can't re-complete the mission. So, uh, yeah, we're just running through this. I decided to smash on the recording and get going. Come on, guys. Don't oh, build that tile that AS. So, I'm going to build a lot of 19 Many here. Nearby creatures have already been and then we're just going to throw everybody everywhere water. after that. A lucky few have been deposited on the shores east of the nest. As more arrive, tensions will rise. There isn't space here for everyone. No, there is not. Let's just do this as well. I'll add it. Um, so basically, we are still our fire ants. We are on a hill and we're going to get flooded. And we have to get this mission done really freaking quickly. Uh... Obviously, it's on insane difficulty. There's no way it's not. Uh, and insane difficulty, as per usual, is proving a bit of a challenge. And I am slacking right now, so we're going to be aggressive to dig these out. We need some more workers. There's not enough to keep up. Right, I'll quickly flick you over to here. In fact, no, I'm not. Please continue together. Right. There are intruders in the nest. So this block of 19 we're going to end up upgrading. Everything else we're not. And the reason for that being is we can basically just kill everything. Uh, by that stage we need to uh, generate the... Uh, well, I suppose it's called like a snowball effect. We need to generate uh, a shit ton of wood. And we need to generate a shit ton of... Um, and in a very short space of time. So uh, we basically have to get our population up to fucking ridiculous levels. Come on. The ants can't get all the food. Of course we fucking can. Wait for these clams to finish planting. Right. So we grab this acorn over here. We'll come and grab this one. We'll have to fight him. Uh, and we're also going to be clearing out some pockets of enemies. Get here... Yeah, come on, guys. Hurry up. Can't fucking spend it quick enough. The battle has begun. Murder, 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 death, kill. So, we'll kill our way through all this shit. Grab this. We're gonna open this pocket as well. Come on. Yeah, I'm just maintaining the aggressiveness right now because uh, I want to uh, get this done. This this mission is like seems to just be this fine balance between like aggressiveness and expansion. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, Starts in here. Uh, this is just another little patch of enemies that we can kill. Take food gathering off. Get in there. Cool. Should be able to kill our way through all this. Uh, creatures attack. Yep, of course you do. The colony is starving. There's not enough no, food to good. feed the new brood. Food on. So all the creatures, as the water rises, all the creatures, including all these spiders, are basically going to come right up this fucking hill and try to clear us off of it. So it is our job. Stop. Them. Right, I'm gonna pop you in here now. Because you've just been sat there not doing anything because I keep forgetting about you. My main problem with this mission is the, the fact that I at the base of the mound is now right. saturated. Here they and come. As night approaches, as the water begins to creep closer. And they the just new rush arrivals right will rush to our nest. ground, heading straight for the nest. There is nowhere else to go. Now they put you in there. Uh, we're kind of lacking. What have I done? What have I done wrong? Hmm. Well, we're slacking on the. Uh, numbers from here, but, uh, there you go. The queen is in imminent danger. Go, go, go. No, no, queen's fine, queen's fine, don't worry. Right. 
Lovely. Right, gather all that. Nicely, nicely done. Two food left. I think that's a good number to keep as is. Uh, yeah, so we get all these big beetles coming up. They're going to be the primary issue for us. Uh, and to be honest, I don't think we're surviving this wave. The ants must fight. Keep one here like this. <laughs> Amongst the melee of panicking creatures are larvae of the false bombardier beetle. Mm. Already large and accomplished predators, they will hold their ground against small groups of ants. I think we're good. Right, we got him. We got him. Very good. Right, we've got to open this pocket up real fast. Yeah. Yeah, get this food replant going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go all day. We'll sit ourselves back They're here. Kill the list off. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go. Alright, kill this off, and then we need to get ourselves down to here. ASAP. Group one, you're going in here now. Just those four, fuck off, are they? Absolutely, no, they're not. I get that quick upgrade. Uh, two and three, right, take our food off. We've got some frogs that are going to spawn here, which we need to kill off. And then once we kill them off, we can cross this gap and grab these aphids and put the aphids on our plant up The inundation here. has slowed, and, and fewer creatures are washing one. up to the east. The ants have an opportunity to explore for food. But there are other dangers at night. Moist-skinned amphibians have come out to take advantage of this new water world, harvesting lost insects displaced from their burrows. So if we get a little uh, grub that climbs in here, we can uh, we can kill it off just fine. It's not an issue. Uh, we've done all right with the space right now. We've got food up here that we can gather, but I'm a little concerned about the numbers that we have, we do not have. Uh... Planted. There we go! A pine woods tree frog, Gila femoralis, has Lovely. wandered into the trail. This one has taken a break from mate calling for a quick meal. And it seems that ants are on the menu. Right, once we finish grabbing this, put the gold up, and the two of you down. Right, that'll be the last one. Then we move these workers down here as well to help bridge the gap. And now, off we go. Come on, come on. Come on. Ah! Damn! See, so this is the problem. If they don't fuck kill it quickly, like they were just stabbed there, oh, I have no idea why. Well, if they don't kill it quickly, it escapes, which means we lose, what, 52 food that we could have had? Luckily, no uh, amphibians run around this sort of ways. Uh, what are doing? Oh, I'm back down the hill, assholes. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill, 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 kill. Yes. Alright, so that's three. One missed, two left. One more. We've got one more to come. Then we grab these aphids, uh, and then having grabbed these aphids, we can probably just come down here and uh, grab that absolute mega ton of food. Here we go. Cook, 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 cook. Look, he's just sat there. Right. Go like this. One's come here. So once we grab the aphids, whoever's left, we'll just pull them into this middle and get them uh... Right, beautiful. Okay, a whole bunch of you cross. That should be enough to gather seven aphids or so. We had a little ant colony over here. 
Um, and we will have to take it on, simply because it produces so much bloody food. Uh, but we won't do that right now. Okay, get my back across. Go, peel off the bridge. The reason why you don't enable food is because they'll start climbing into these pots. Right, gather. That should be everything. Good. That's it, right? Go like that or something. Uh, disable, 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 so we don't climb into this plant here. So, uh, your ants will have a tendency to do that. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm thinking of clearing this one out. I think clearing this one out first. And, uh, we'll see how we get on. Let's get another one planted. Alright, everyone should be on their gather now. We should start seeing a nice big influx of food. This. How are we looking? Uh, ooh, one more. Yeah, you got to watch your food. You got to have this fucking balance. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be fine. Right, ones. You're good. If he wants to ignore us, that's great. Alright, we'll come down here. Because we're going to get attacked. Here he comes. Oh, looks like a froggy wants the to burn in the fun as well. Begun. Yeah, we should be able to squash this frog. Oh, run away. Oh, this is not going well. The colony is starving. Yeah, There's I know. No food to feed the new brood. Oh, I hate how he jumps behind us like this. All right, come on, just, just run away. Lovely. All right, cool. That should fix our food problem. Ones can go and gather that. These seven here are struggling a little bit. And then we need to start clearing out this pocket of food over here. Uh, for fuck's sake, Sean. And I'm forgetting to enable bloody food gather. The ants will fight to They're the good. death. I can throw piss off. This is just costing us time. Uh, we definitely do not need about to bring another torrent flushing through the bog, carrying with it a slew of ill tempered arthropods. Yeah, this is costing us way too much time. But we're going to continue just to see if we can do it anyway. No point giving up just because we hit a fucking speed bump. Right, that's dead. That's gone. Right, now we start clearing in here today. We just spend the entire day clearing good space. And upgrading this. Come on, get digging. There are intruders. Check what I do. We're going to draw back. We take combat off. We're just going to draw them in a little bit more so we can actually surround them. Go. There, there we do it. Go, go, go. We've got loads of food in the bank for our eggs. That's not an issue.
Gonna grab all that. Up here, grab this. Predators are loose in the nest. Pull that. The larvae must be protected. Right. So we need to start getting upgrades, and the reason for that is simply because we are going to run out of uh, food very quickly. Uh, when our ants aren't able to uh, do the fucking job properly. Go, 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 go. Okay, open up this pocket. This needs to get opened, and then... When that pocket's done, this pocket needs to get opened. I don't care about you. Okay. There are intruders in the nest. So the reason why we're upgrading isn't for the numbers, like I said, it's for the quality, quantity. Go. Uh, it's for the quality unit that we can get uh, at level three, because we're losing too many ants for this. Never mind anything else. What's we got going on here? Just like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm just keeping a nice stream here on the uh, good old good together for us. Right. Here we go. Come out. 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 Wait. 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 Go. Go. Food stores full. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Right, should be able to quickly dig our way through this now. And by the time we got dug through, we should be gathered ready for this combat. There's a lovely lot of 200 food that sits here. Just again, quick throw some temp speed tiles over the top here. Come here, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, yeah, so this guy sprays all the shit at us, but whatever, it's what it is, don't care. Go, 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 go. Right, now we should be able to get rid of this. Come on. Yep, lovely, lovely, lovely. Awesome. You don't have enough food for that tile. Uh, here we do. Got that. Got this. Right. We. I know we can kill this, so that's why we're going here now. Uh. Look at our food influx now. The battle has begun. That. Right, ready, go. Uh, creatures attack. Yeah, okay, right. Which means we have to get rid of this now, real quick. Go, 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 go. Right, they've used this spray. Now they're vulnerable. Bar of salt. The colony is starving. Yeah, I There's know. not enough food to feed the new brood. You need to get in here. Okay, let's hope we have uh, enough for this wave. To drain, the flood water creeps ever nearer to the nest. We'll clear that out next. Already cramped then we get rid of all this. Panic yeah. ensues, and the refugees scramble for higher ground. Kill off these beetles really quick. Yep, good, 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 good. Right, here comes the big boys. These are the pains in the asses. Oh, this wasp is fucking ruthless, mate. This is why we need threes, you see. Uh, not just for the extra ants that it gives us, but just for this damage. Because we've got to overcome all these like really tough foes really quickly. Alright, we're running low on food, but we've pretty much got this bit in the bag. Okay. We dig this out now, because we've just killed everything on this hill. Alright, finish off, because we might as well. Finish off doing this. Uh, make a big 
area right in here now. Right. Now, we don't give a shit about upgrading. Once this is up to 30 whatever, do not care anymore. Everything is going on on uh, our main ant. Program 1, carry on doing what's doing. Uh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, guys? I don't like that. That's we got way better quality, quality than us. Right. Ah. Might as well open this pocket now. Yeah, look, see. Cut our way through this. Like a hot knife through butter. Lovely. Now we've got another 120 to spend. Go. And it is spent. Get ourselves down here. The food stores are full. Oh. There we are. Very nice. Okay, more food. Uh, not more food, more warriors. Fire out brood tile. Fire out worker brood tile. Right. So hopefully done. Okay. We can just start expanding this one as well. Yeah. News of the insect feast oh. has spread across the swamp. With growing numbers of amphibians patrolling the waters, the Invictors scavenging expeditions will need to be well defended. Yeah. Okay, so there's a couple of spots we can come now uh, to get aphids. Obviously, we weren't able to grab this down here. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, we go here and grab food. Black ants marooned on a smaller section and we can come and grab the black ants. Reachable if the fire ants join together to bridge the gap. Just wait here. The ants okay. must fight. There we go. The queen is in imminent danger. Oh, she's fine. Is giving us a ton of uh, space for food. Uh, we are going to need a couple of more workers, so to that end, I'm just going to quickly pod a few in there just uh, to keep up with the egg wood plant and regen. Uh, we can open this now. We can 100% take these frogs. We'll set ourselves back in here though. While we do that, Around like so. Alright, there we go. Yep, you don't need to do that. And the battle has nope. begun. Ah, I didn't really get them where I wanted to. Yep. Mm. A little bit of a choke point that we were at. Rolling it. Right, very good. Uh, did, did, did. Put the wall. Ah. There go. Wonderful. So we wait for the water to get up to like here, and then we'll come across and then grab uh, this stuff. There's not really much outside that we can grab. Right now, what we got? Wait for the water to rise again and we can get this one across here. Turkey. As if the colony didn't already have enough to right. deal with, the great cool. blue skimmer has chosen this moment to touch down right outside the nest. Unchecked, this titan of the sky will no doubt disrupt colony activities. But if the soldiers are able to bring her down, the rewards could be mighty. So we're going to take her on because we've got so many and the health should be going down pretty damn quick once everyone starts getting outside and doing their fucking job yeah there we go look at that mm, look at that 
Go in with our stingers. But our food stores are full. We're actually gaining food quicker than we're losing it. <laughs> right, here we go. So should try and fly away in a sec. From the fire ants, the but they won't go very far. Is beginning to wane. Yeah, she probably. leaps away from battle and prepares to right. take off. If the ants want to prevent her escape, oh. they'll need to act quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Her wings weighted so, yeah. down with fire ants. The skimmer no longer has the strength to take off. And the eastern newt, oh. Notophalmus viridations, is devouring ants. Growing up to 10 centimeters in length, it dwarfs other well, creatures on the right mound. There. Its red skin is toxic that. and serves as a warning to potential predators. Yeah. Crippled by relentless stings, the great skimmer's attempts to flee became ever more futile. Finally collapsing atop the mound, she succumbs to the fire ants. Dismemberment will follow. So, oddly, that boss fight is actually pretty damn easy. Uh, where can we go next? Uh, we can't reach that yet. There'll be something around here we can get. Mm. Which doors are falling. Alright. Continue with the stuff. Right. Okay. Uh, we might come down here. See what we can, we can do. The ants will fight to the death. There we go. Yeah, we can kill these uh, newts or salamanders, whatever they're called. Out. Pretty easily. Two and three. Up here. You see, we can come across the bottom here, but uh, I think what we're going to do is turn the food header off. Get ourselves down here. Lovely. Ah, water rises. So we can't do this real quick. If not, it'd be a bit of a risk, but it'd be worth the reward. That's enough. An ant has found itself entangled on the sticky tentacle of a dwarf yep. sundew. As it tries to struggle free, more tentacles are drawn in, drowning the victim in thick mucilage. Go, 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 run, 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 run. We're going to lose so many ads. Uh, we gained a lot of food, so that's something. Uh, that was a lot. There was that. Eh, as many as it could have been. Right. Uh, let's have a look. Now that the water has arisen, we can come down here and grab these aphids. Uh, yep, that shouldn't be an issue. As the water well, draws ever nearer, more and insects and begin this. to wash up on the bank. The Invicta colony must maintain control or risk. We'll do this far one run. first. Oh, hello, little wasp. Goodbye, little wasp. Oh. Whatever it is, wasp mantid, I think it said. Cool. Right. So now we want to set ourselves here. Because obviously we have these big, nasty, tough spiders that'll start washing up. So the quicker we get rid of them, the better. Yeah. Why are you guys not gathering food? Oh, food's still just cool. Obviously, dickhead. Uh, the workers have done good. all they can to improve these food stores. Last. Predators are loose in the nest. In the nest? The larvae <gasps> must be protected. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, Control Route 3 is the big rock. So we can start taking on one of these spiders. The battle has begun. We should be able to take this. Come on, guys. Alright, fine. Uh, be more honest then. Yeah. Killed that. Predators are loose kill this. in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Froggies. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Kill that. Go, go, go. Grab that food right there. This is going good. 
Alright, that should be it for frog invasions. We will get across here and get this food. One because we need it, and two because I want it. Oh, another froggy. Okay. Predators are loose in the nest. Yes, the yes. larvae oh. must be protected. Alright, so right, right. Go, go. Take that on your own. What are we doing? I should be able to fire past this thing. By ourselves. Come on, do you want it? You can get it. And we should have now this. Yeah. Alright, all that's left to do is clear that off. Ah, yeah, yeah, you across to me met way much food. Way much food. Blech. Way too much food. Way much food. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I need to go get my head checked. I'll grab that and kill this grub after. Food gather, please. Squaw. Alright, all that gathered, awesome source, that's going to be a lovely little influx, uh, just upgrade these real quick and continue with our massive expansion, uh, going to need a couple of more workers again, so we're going to pop them down here like so. Look at this. This is all the shit that's going to come and attack us. Right. Yeah. We're upgrading all this food stock, obviously, so that we can manage that. Huge amount of enemies that's going to come our way. Uh, we could probably hunt some of this, to be quite honest with you. You could probably kill this bunch off down here. Uh, these bomb dead beetles are going to be a pain. Let's see when the attack's going to be in a minute. Alright. We'll go hit this. Mainly for the food, because we've got nowhere else to expand to. The ants will fight Wait till to water rise once more, and then we can get all of that. Yeah. Oh, did I know the creatures were allowed to attack? Right. Stick ourselves in here like this. Come back, come back. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. You've killed. You've done what you could. You damaged who you damaged. A oh, big thing died. Uh, put that on. Lovely. Uh, 200 Again, food. That should be enough for us. Rise. Oh, the that wash is going to die quickly. And a stampede ensues. The Invicta yeah. soldiers all these must form ranks beetles. quickly. If we get more food, then we lose. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, right, you're in here. Oh. Should be able to drop most of this down in a hurry. So we can do a clever thing like this, and just have food gather on a combat off, and they'll grab it. Oh, doesn't look like we needed it, though. Lovely. Right. What level's going to rise? Uh, it should open up these aphids, but what we're going to do is come down here now. Should be starting up rude. Be an interesting answer to an interesting question. Uh, 
Alright, control group three. Cross we go. Oh, the another little Atlantis. Has begun. Alright, we take food gather off. Okay. Stick it on. We haven't walked past anything that can kill us. Like that. An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Oh. oh. Cross we go. Cross we go, guys. Alright. This is, uh. Yeah. This is the time we kill all these ants. Oh. Right. We're in. There we go. There she is. All we have to do is murder that one off. Now, our ants are inherently better than uh, the tiny ants. So, should be able to do it relatively quickly. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Cool. The little Food black ants on. have been defeated. The fire ants must pillage the nest quickly and hurry home while they still can. Alright, so the main pockets we want to gather is here with the, uh, the 30 eggs. Uh, real quick. Do something like this. So if this nuke comes for us, we can uh, we can nail it. It's not, not a big issue. Look at all this grub. It's not going to break the bridge up. So. Guys, come here. Grab this. And also be on the defense should we get invaded by any toads. Right, this is where we need to really start ramping up our ant production. Everything is going to go into producing more fucking ants. This. Should things get particularly difficult? Okay. The guys over here then. Right, threes have gathered that. Get this. So yeah, you should be able to fully strip the nest by the end of this. Right, right we should kill all of it. Come on. Is combat not enabled or something? Come on. We have to come back for it. Oh well, this is getting annoying. Should be able to kill all of this, he says. Well, this big train of ants is coming back now. Because put these things right. Fuck you. How did you guys get up here? Oh, they're just really annoying. Bit of a choke point going on around here. Oh, look. Pleasure. Really don't have time for this, but I know you're just going to be a thorn in my side if we don't get rid of you. Now we're getting all our ants back. Uh, we're going to throw in a bit more on the worker front. But obviously, workers don't score high, but uh, the way I did it last time is I just threw all the workers in here. Uh, simply because it's cheaper, it works out more efficiently. We just need the warriors for uh, most of the majority of the combat.
An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Yeah, whatever, don't give a shit. I should be able to kill this fucking turd off. Last one. Lovely, in we go. Uh, program 3, let's go here. Program uh, 2, 3, like that. Please. They're fighting each other. Great. Alright. Our population's nearly here, and we're pretty much just snowboarding to the finish. Uh, they got a bit more space. They get more workers on it. Clearly need more workers, because we're not uh, covering our population as much as I'd like. I love this soundtrack. Just so chill. Right, three's in there, two's up here then. As soon as it says the water's gonna start rising, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Alright, uh. So. <laughs> no, it's just having a war in the middle. Okay, just free food for us. Not an issue, is it? I think that is this stripped bear. A quick, quick gather of that over here. Uh, then I want one the to start coming themselves. back over here. Uh, what can we do? Twos can do this now. And threes. Twos and, twos and threes can do this. Nah, because we're just going to get stung by this plant. Nah. Alright. Get back up here. On top. That's where we want to be. The queen is in imminent danger. What? Oh, shit! What was it? Oh, spider. Alright, okay. Oh! That was panic. Come on, get the fuck out of here. Come on, go, come on, guys. Alright, we're going to lose all this. Oh well. How many ants? No. That was a lot. Right, how are we looking? We can do this. Alright, control group 3 go there. Control group 2, cancel, cancel. The pond continues to swell, finally drowning what remains of the Monomorium right. colony. The fire ants watch as it sinks into the murky depths, foreshadowing their own demise. Okay, so now everything's going to start spawning here and only here. Uh, and this done. is where we need to get this done quickly. So we need, what, 53 more soldiers, 79 more workers. We're just going to do workers. A cheap, affordable, easy to make. Uh, oh, just for shits and gigs, we'll work first thing. There we go. Got the food, squire. Right, threes have gathered all of that. Threes now sit here and just sit, kill, and gather everything in here. And that provides us with more than enough food. And we've also got, you know, a ton a ton here would be aphids if we really want it, but, uh, yeah. Look at that pot. Ah, 52 more workers. Just fill this. Fill in the space, but dig this out and mess around while uh... An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going to kill everything. Is that it? Almost. Whew. Yeah, this is the snowball run, and uh, that is how we do it. Once you hit this level of ant, uh, yeah, soldier ants, two hundred in summer, it's, it's more than enough. 
you don't need. Yeah. You know, you just gather everything so fast. Right, pro group two there, pro group one's here, gather. Heal all this back, get all these soldiers. Pro group three can just stay over here now. How many more do we need? Ah, seven workers with five more soldiers. Go on, we'll do five more soldiers. Seven, three, four, five, well, six, whatever. But yeah, that's uh, it. And obviously we gain so much more food than we lose right now. And then, gather everybody up to help. GG, we're played. Look at this. So this is what happens when you have like so many ants in one group. It takes forever for them to actually process that they need to not be up there. There we go. Joining their bodies together to form a giant raft, the fire ants were able to ferry the queen from the mound just as the nest filled with water. Their perils are not over, but they've shown great resilience and an ability to survive in this harsh environment. Wherever they land, the creatures of the swamp will quickly come to know the might of the fire ants. I'll just take the extra food, why not? Because we're going to need it to do our form of carrion. Uh, yeah, that is uh, 4.2. Uh, yeah, a little bit of problems at the start, but uh, actually a quicker run. It and I thought it was quite enjoyable. Strong. The race the against time thing. Soon. Hello? Shh, shh. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Is something wrong? No. <laughs> the scientist is fucking crazy. But yeah, that's everything. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.